all of you are aboard the tram that has recently left the prison here on the city of Jora at Cato Namoria. You guys are boarded by, well, you guys are boarded with three prisoners that you have broken out of prison by basically unlocking every cell on every floor and unleashing hell upon the city. <laughs> Oops. It is a way. <laughs> it, is a, it is a way, yes. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Um, so, there are... There are there are another group of prisoners. I think I said about twenty, maybe is what I said. Maybe, perhaps if, if that number is wrong or is skewed, please let me know because I I didn't no, write I think it was the exact 20. number. It was around twenty other prisoners yeah. have boarded the tram with you, and you guys are headed. It looks like basically directly through the undercity of this place. Uh, the tram doesn't move fast. But you have a feeling because you're not having to wait in the heavy traffic and you're not having to deal with the chaos of the upper city right now, probably take about between 15 and 20 minutes to go from one side of the city to the to the other to the spaceport, which is the other place where this tram uh, has a station. And you have these three Nymoidians that you broke out. One is Gren, who almost <laughs> dropped Yeska. Well, did drop Yeska, but then Yeska was able to catch himself. Um, this was the individual that you were coming for originally when his mother reached out to you to go see if you could at least figure out if he was even alive. Obviously, there's confirmation there. Um, there's another individual, a, a female Nymoidian, that you guys broke out, uh, Shadra, who was Radiant. in prison here because of helping the rebellion and another one that came from the eighth floor a middle-aged looking male nymoidian that you guys were able to you haven't even communicated with this individual really yet you just kind of broke them free and it took them along and there are you know various other nymoidians there's like one one twi'lek aboard uh you don't see a lot of like mixed other races here it seems to be mainly Nymoidians since you've since you've arrived. And you guys are all aboard this tram. And the tram is interesting. Sometimes the rails will be underneath it. And then sometimes the rails are on top of it. It's almost like as if the wheels on the tram will change from the bottom to the top to fit the railing of the tram. Sometimes it goes up a little bit. Sometimes it'll drop down a few levels. It turns at times. It goes completely through buildings sometimes. Like these buildings have been hollowed out in places to allow the tram to go through. Where the damaged buildings of the Undercity continue to hang after the terrible Clone Wars left them in shambles. The adventure is yours, Force users. What would you like to do? All right. I, I, I will walk over to Yeska and like, I, I am glad you, you didn't die, my friend. That was a, a scary close fall from what I heard. Too close for comfort. I, uh, I have experienced much worse, so I think. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just so glad that you were able to come back and get me. Luckily, we have someone with a jetpack. Yes, yeah, quite lucky. Thank you so much again, Raven. I'm just glad you're all right. I think um, perhaps it'd be best if we get off of this train. Um, seeing yeah. as they know we took it, and mm -hmm. it's not exactly like we can lose any pursuit. They could just go to the end of wherever train ends and be where we are. I think we need to find a way to get off. Is okay. there any way to stop this train or any, any station? I make a way point, to the control car? I'm I I'm gonna point my gun at the droid controlling this car and and oh ask dear. if Yes, oh dear. <laughs> it, just, it just looks at you. Glowing stop, eyes. Stop, just... <laughs> stop the train for a moment, please. Right away. <laughs> you guys all like 
Oh, Jesus. Just fly forward a little bit as the brakes on this thing just slam. <laughs> All right. Um, is there a map system on on this control? There is. Show Would you like me. to see it? Yes. Sure. So it's like typing on a, a little little screen, and there's like a this holographic like map image kind of like up there in front of you, kind of on the glass at the front of the tram. Uh, I'm going to look to see if there's any, like, offshoots or, like, maintenance areas where people would, like, be going on and off of these trams, like, in between. Like, I'm assuming there would be, like, emergency like exits. Stations. Like, in between stations, like, emergency mm -hmm. exits type of situation. That's, like, that's a good idea. Uh, that's some a of very that's, good idea. I used to ride the Sky Train a lot, and it used to go into the subway. Don't ask why it's called a Sky Train, but it does both. <laughs> um, you see, about right before halfway through the city, there's a spot where the tram kind of uh, the tracks move up towards the upper city. They don't. Mm -hmm. The tram never goes above like the actual bridge level. It stays underneath. But there's one part where it goes up, and you can see that there is a location that's within a building that looks like a spot where they could potentially stop this tram, have people get off, maybe look at it to do repairs. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else on this right. this tram. <laughs> it, it's, it looks very awkwardly built, and you can tell that it was probably built by the Empire after they got here. Okay. But this wasn't something that was here before. All After right. the city got damaged, they built this thing through the city, and it's just, like, moving all around like a worm, you know, roller coaster style almost through this place. All right. I think that's where we need to go. Take us there and stop. Right away. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> yes. Sure. <laughs> just yes. backs it down a little bit. <laughs> Um, okay. I got you have to be extremely precise with these idiots. Um, but yeah, you guys are left with, you guys think you probably have about 10 minutes here. Uh, is anybody injured? Does anybody want to do some kind of check? Because you're technically out of encounter now. Uh, and everybody who has any strain, you can, uh, you can heal all your strain because it's the beginning of a new, sh a new session. Oh, nice. All right. So if you have any I'm strain. A little, I'm a little hurt, doctor. Uh, you think yeah. you might take a look at some of these wounds. I slap a stim, stim pack on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I need so, the practice. <laughs> immediately you uh, can heal five wounds, Yeska, as you're being stabbed uh, by... And, and uh, Raven is still clad in Stormtrooper attire. She's just, like, <laughs> just like... I'm going to put my cloak my back on. I'm going to put my cloak back on. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, are we all in like stormtrooper uniforms? Still? Yeah, you guys. Taken, I, you've taken yeah. your helmets off, but helmets you guys off. are still. Yeah, Why right. do I taste pennies? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to bite your tongue when I. <laughs> <laughs> no, pennies is a small uh, rodent creature we have on Chilla. Oh, Very okay. tasty. <laughs> all right. Enjoy. <laughs> Dran gives you a terrified look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, I will get out of this uniform. Yeah. Okay, so you're spending and a few minutes to get rid of the stormtrooper uh, armor, and do you, I'm assuming you guys have brought your own gear with you in a... I mean, if you're going to allow us to say uh, we brought it in that bag, here, then sure. I didn't think about that. I don't think you guys <laughs> thought about it. So here's, here's what I'll allow you to do. You can flip a destiny point. Okay. Back over to me, and you can say, "Oh, yeah, we did remember our duffel bag." Is that <laughs> each or collectively? Just collectively. I'll let you guys flip one, and then you guys seems like a fair trade. You guys have all yeah, your armor so. and clothing. I'll, I'll, uh, if you'd I'll like to it. change wow. out of your stormtrooper, all right. Entire. I'm going. Then I'm going to go to the very back of the train and shut Everyone the door. Around. Okay, <laughs> you're going. Yeah. To the back. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to a different car completely okay changing out it might take you a little bit longer because of your That's mandalorian fine. armor it might take a little bit a while 
for you to get Well, the helmet is the first and only thing I really care about. Right. So It's his Mandalorian yeah, that's... helmet with the Stormtrooper white As uh, I garment. slowly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm just but, picturing her like trying to fit that breastplate over top of the helmet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, she probably like just like <laughs> takes one of her like screwdrivers yeah, that she was having. Straps, it straps yeah, on by the straps ship. on. Yeah, probably yeah. has some custom. She pops it off. Custom quick grips or something. Like, pss, you know, right onto the shoulders and the the waist gets gets her all all suited up. Um, cool. So you guys are spending some time uh, while Raven is back there changing. I would assume that most of you, especially those of you that just wear like robes and stuff, it probably only take you minutes to put those on. Uh, is there anything that you wanted to do, talk about, or um, while while you're on this tram before you guys get to this part? Interrogate. Did we bring also possibly any civilian gear for our uh, prisoner? You may, if you'd like to flip another destiny point. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought of that beforehand. Planning. Uh, it's overrated. I think it seems like a good idea. We would have brought some probably. changes out of these jumpsuits, yeah. right? <laughs> That's up to y'all. I, I already flipped I, one destiny I, point. Y'all I would flip for it. I would flip for it. Okay. Yeah, Go I'd ahead. flip for it as well. Another? All right. Yeah, do it. Well, them over. <laughs> now it is tied. <laughs> there we go. Did somebody uh, flip? Is somebody going to flip that one over on the? Did it already? Flip? I did it. Okay. Now. There you go. Perfect. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, see. Okay. And just like that. Four four. Things have evened out in the force. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. is well in the force once again. Balance. Mm -hmm. Balance. Yep, balance. Gotta have balance. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you guys do happen to have some attire. Now, some of it's probably going to be tight on some individuals, some of it's going to be hanging loosely, but you, are you, I'm assuming you guys are just taking these uh, common clothes and just kind of passing them out to all these prisoners. Awesome. As, yeah. Well, I we have it enough. Would be like, I don't, it'd be like generic, have... like, engineer spacer jumpsuits that yeah. they can just whip on. Yeah. Well, would we have enough for 20 people, though? Because like, we, technically we're only planning on bringing, breaking three people out. So do we have enough well, for all twenty? With us. The other twenty went up, went up the top. Oh, I thought There's they were on the tram the with us. No, they, they are on the tram with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> but they're like spread out in different cars and stuff. So. Oh, I kicked everyone out of my car. They are no, not yeah. in my car. Yeah. We That's should maybe we slip just, we slip you the uniform. Up here and then you turn around. There's just a bunch oh. of. Oh. <laughs> now I have. I to would murder them all. <laughs> We would just hear screams and explosions. <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about the clothing for those prisoners anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should slip Gren and Sadra yeah. uniforms for, you know, clothes for sure. Definitely. Um, yeah. Uh, we wait probably would have had off, one extra. Wait until we are off train to, to put this on. Don't show anybody. Yeah. Uh, Gren kind of looks at you and is like, oh, yeah, sh sure. Um, so, uh, so we're we're getting off the train before the spaceport. Yes, I, I think that is the plan. I need to go. <clears throat> I come back and I say I need to go collect um, the speeder. I mean, technically, you could leave beforehand if you really wanted to, Raven. Yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and go collect the speeder, and I'll meet you back at the ship. And the radio contacts. Yep. Speaking of radio, should we check in with? Uh... What was her name? Santa. I think we had her comlink frequency. Sure. That was Gren's mom. Gren's oh, right? oh yes, that's my mother. So you guys, uh, you guys did all this just to get me back with my mother? Oh, you make it sound like that. I mean, you and it's, a few kind of yes, a sir. byproduct. We mostly <laughs> needed to talk to you. Yes. And it just so happens that we can also save you. You needed to talk to me. Yes. Yes. We have been uh, trying to follow uh, the path of someone from years ago. And it has led us to you because you had an interaction with this person. There's a Jedi named Soldier Ward. Ward. You can almost see see anger 
in his eyes as you say this name? Yeah, I tried to, I tried to, like vibe with him. You know, just you know, like, yes, we, we have been tracking this uh, very infamous character throughout the whole galaxy, and we need to find more information about him. What can you tell us? I can tell you that I hope he's dead. He is dead. Congratulations. <laughs> he's like, oh boy. He's like, somehow I don't believe you. But hey, I just broke you out the prison. You got to call me a liar. <laughs> Here's what I do want you to do, though, Yeska. Yes. And everybody, because you're all around. I want everybody to make a vigilance check for me. Oh, no. Oh, God, are we going to get attacked by these stupid is, but, people? <laughs> is there a rating on this? I'm gonna. It's going to be a difficulty one purple die. Okay. You said That's vigilance? Vigilance, yes. Yikes. Oh! God, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your friendly neighborhood, Mon Calamari, has both eyes wide open. <laughs> so I get a... What was the difficulty on that you said? One purple. One purple. One difficulty. One purple. Yep. I do get a boost based on one of my things that I picked up from nice. the character tree. All right. Where is that vigilance? Constant vigilance. Nice. nice. All right. Great. I'm the only one that failed. Oh, no. Nope. 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 <laughs> um, Raven, the um, <laughs> just the... You're, you're staying pretty much more focused on this individual, seeing Yeska kind of communicate. Uh, same result. Are, for... are we also doing this while Raven's changing? I came back. I came back. I Raven oh, came back. Sorry. Um, while you, you, Ra I guess Raven was changing while you guys were kind of like maybe passing out, giving some clothes to these individuals and telling them, hey, you know, don't, don't, don't put this on just yet. So, um, Tizo, you're probably concentrating more on this individual, but Yeska and Dran, you notice... You take a glance, and that other uh, Nymoidian, that more middle-aged male Nymoidian, looks really uncomfortable right now. And it all stemmed from the conversation that Yeska brought up. He's not saying anything, but... I don't know if Nymordians have sweat glands, but if they do, <laughs> he is sweating. <laughs> He's glistening. Yeah. Nice. I'll slip over to that guy while they're talking, and I'll be, you know, I'll kind of go up beside him. Okay. He kind of just looks at you and looks back forward. You okay over there, friend? Um, I'm doing just fine. Uh, thank, so thank you. Thank you for, for, thank you for getting me out. Well, you, you lucked out that you were in the right place at the right time there. Um, sounded like something about our conversation was interesting you. Oh, not, not at all. Not in the slightest bit. Is he, is he... He's sweating more. Pulling my leg. He's sweating more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm fine. If you're, if you're, thank if you're always, so thankful for us saving you, maybe. Uh, much hot in here. <laughs> any, any exciting news you could share with us from maybe your time in prison or your time before? Anything we might want to know? What about your memoirs? When I've. I've only been here in prison for about a year. Um, listen, and he, he kind of gets closer to you and he whispers this to you. It's like, hey, I can tell you some things, but he looks around the room and he looks at, he's like looking at the other prisoners and he's looking at Gren and he looks back at you and whispers, really? don't want to say in front of present company if that's okay mm. with you 
Do we have any outfits left over? We should have one extra. If we brought three for the prisoners yeah. we were trying to break out, we have one left. Maybe I'll uh, slip them one and say, stick with us a little bit. We want to know more. Right, right. Uh, and at that, like, all of a sudden you guys hear this this uproar almost start from the from Gren. He's like, I spent 25 years locked away for nothing. Like because an animal. Exactly. Ugh. Like an animal. Because Terrible. that fool Jedi, that that sorcerer, said that I was a conspirator. conspirator. Did he have any what? evidence at all, or he just he threw you in the clink? There was no evidence. Oh. Friend, just a moment. I'm gonna take the gun from him. <laughs> 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 he's, so he's getting riled he's, up, and I'm like, "All right, all right, all right." Around. He's like, he doesn't even like. It's almost like one of those things where he's like ignoring you doing this, and he's just focused on talking to Yeska. So you just like take it away. I it's just don't those... want him to miss fire while he's getting emotional. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, that's mine. That, thank you. All right, that's how about it? All this time, all this time gone, for what? How am I ever going to get it back? I can't. You cannot. The only thing you can do is live in the present. Be here now. It is the best advice I can give. Do not worry about the past and mistakes that other people make, that you make. All you can do is push forward. I'm it's inspired. <laughs> He looks at you and he's like, I do appreciate you getting me out. It's going to be difficult to move on now. The entire empire is probably up there on the upper city looking for all of us right now. The Duke is going to be furious. The Duke? Well, you know, if, if, Duke? You help, if you help us in this, uh, our mission that we're trying to do, we might be able to get you off planet. I could help as much as I possibly could if you could get me off planet. My mother must come too. Of course. That's doable. Of course. Because I fear that if they you can't can... find me, they will go after her. She's a little old lady. Yeah, we must protect her. Of course. Uh, and Dran, you would know that because you're sitting next to him, the more yeah. this guy got upset, the more uncomfortable that other person that you're sitting next to. Oh, was. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, I, will, I will say to uh, Grin that I would just answer any questions that uh, my friend here has. I'll motion to Yeska to continue with questioning. Okay. So this <laughs> Jedi, this scoundrel, they threw you in the prison. Sorcerer. Ugh. Sorcerer. Magic man. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere he goes. He he hides special information. That's what we are looking for. Stored in these mini computer crystals. Do you have any idea what that could mean or what... what does that mean anything to you at all? You see him slowly shake his head. Honestly, the only time I met the man was when he was taking me into custody. And Is there any kind of insight check I can roll? Uh, yeah, I, was yeah, I was already <laughs> thinking, like, I'm like seeing this whole interaction, I, I already wanted to insight check. This guy. Okay, this guy, yeah. this guy seems I a think, bit sketchy. I think insight on this is is also, I, th I believe it's vigilance. I believe is what you have to do for insight. All right. Let me double check that really quick. I always okay. forget some of these. Can I boost Yeska instead of rolling twice? 
Well, you know, insight is more of like... I think it'd be hard to boost somebody's insight. It's kind of right. like yeah, almost like fair. your intuition about something. Do the catcher yeah. symbols. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's so let's just, do, uh, let's just do vigilance. And okay. it's going to be pretty easy. It's just going to be one purple die right. for, your, uh, for your rolls. Okay, one purple, and I still have that boost. Oh. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I succeed, but it's but. also... Um, yeah, you can, you both can tell that he, he seems to be telling you the truth. There's, it doesn't seem like he's hiding anything from you deliberately. And everything seems to line up with his story. And from what you got from his mother, it seems to line up. I mean, you, you guys heard... And uh, Dran also and Raven would know that you guys actually look through the files on the computer mm -hmm. and you know there really wasn't any hard evidence against them. It was basically right. Soljo Ward's word that he was some kind of conspirator with the separatists. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. So they locked him up. I wasn't sure what yeah. he was like charged with, like conspirator to what. To yeah. What yeah. Now. Gotcha. I might have not been specific on it whenever you guys. No, 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 that's okay. Here, but you would have, you would have had that information. Uh, okay. Known to you. Known to it. All right. When Yeska's talking about like miniature glowing computers or whatever, does the guy next to me react at all? Um. Not any different than what he's reacting with the the panicking individual. Like, the more Gren gets fired up, the more uncomfortable he gets. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like one of those senses where I wish I could be somewhere else right now. <laughs> that's, that's what Anywhere it feels but like here. Here. Anywhere yeah. but here right now. Something about this guy getting fired up and getting everybody worried. It seems to be having an effect on just this individual. Just like, the, the others don't seem to be affected by him getting upset too much. Okay. Uh, and you're not really sure who all these individuals are and why they were in lo locked down, down in the prison to begin with. You could have a mixture of <laughs> innocence here and you could have, like murderers. You could have some kind of serial killer in here. <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> all right, well, why don't we all so just, I'm just take going a to breath? Put my, I'm just going to put my hand on uh, Gren's okay. shoulder and go, look, it's okay. You're out now, my friend. And we will get you and your mother to safety. Thank you for helping us. Well, I do thank you. Um, and uh, uh, Shadra speaks up and says, and, and, and I want to thank you all as well. Um, I too have not been locked up for very long. But I can't say that mine wasn't, wasn't earned. They would have probably let me rot in there. Well, you're back out here to keep fighting now, so uh, I think the question to ask yourself is, are you going to continue the fight here or go well, off-world? We'll, well, see, that's the thing. I really wasn't a fighter. I just... What were you doing then? Well, I, I helped a, a friend of mine uh, smuggle some, some food and uh, medical supplies off-planet to help the rebellion board some kind of uh, starship called the, the Silver Star. You Oh. Looks at your face and is like, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I get a far off look in my eyes. Okay. <laughs> that was that shit we, uh... Yeah. We followed was, the distress call. Yeah, the distress call ship. Oh, that's when I wasn't there. I wasn't. That's yeah. why I'm like, yeah. What you <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Right, murdered Jerry. a couple people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the ship. Yeah, Dran uh, went kind of nuts yep. on. <laughs> um, but as as this conversation is kind of dying down here, you hear the brakes start to be pressed down on the the tram, and it seems as if the the droid is slowing the tram down. 
and you guys can see out that the out the windows that the tram has gone in one of these kind of dilapidated old buildings from the Clone Wars, and it comes to a stop. Get out the blaster pistol. Okay. Um, can I check uh, the tram to see if there's a way to reset this droid? Oh, like wipe its memory or something? Sure. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking... I'm... You can always wipe memory with a little... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I mean, yeah, this... we could do that, but... This might be like a mechanics check. All right. I think, or compute. Well, mechanics is better for you, I believe. Yeah. Go ahead and make a mechanics check with a two purple dice difficulty. All right. I'm going to flip a light side to upgrade. Okay. Sure. You may. Hey, Michael, I need to apologize. Whenever I made my last couple of rolls, I forgot that my upgrade button was clicked from last time. And so oh. I got an additional... I, I upgraded from one green to one yellow for those two rolls. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay. Just go ahead and just uh, repair it on your character sheet. We'll be, we'll be good there. Oh, This roll! Whoa! <laughs> nice! This. this is an odd mix of <laughs> whoa. characteristics. Okay, so you succeed on this. Uh, basically, what you have to do is there's a panel on the back of this droid. And you remove this panel, and you're able to remove some pieces, and there is a kind of like a reset switch. That if you if you can get to it, you can actually reset this thing as like day one out of the box droid. <laughs> Three reset, yeah. <laughs> Factory reset. Uh, the problem is those two threat mean that in the process you damage some of the parts of the inside of the droid a little bit in the process okay but what okay. would you like to do with your triumph um is it possible to like set a timer so he doesn't come back online for another hour absolutely yes with your triumph you can do so yep i do so you kind of put him in sleep mode for an hour. Sleep mode. <laughs> <laughs> I hard reset and sleep mode. You know, get, yeah. he had some PTSD. Let him let him clear that out. It's like a commu computer monitor. If you shake the mouse, uh, it'll come back on. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining that its eyes are like blank screens with the uh, with like the whatever droids have for pupils kind of moving like the DVD. Yeah, like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Copy yeah. off that wall. <laughs> At first, the droid's like, wait, what are you doing? No, wait, what? <laughs> Shh, go to sleep. Oh. Good night. It's dark. And you guys watch, Raven like reaches in the back of this thing and like rips out a bunch of wires and sounds like... <laughs> That's it. Okay. Um, we have about an hour. Let's get out of here. It may not ever be able to use its left arm again, but it's uh, <laughs> it's it's at least its memory is wiped. <laughs> some other some other person's problem. That's yeah. right. Um, so the doors. So uh, I will uh, open okay. the doors to the other cars and go. Here's the deal, prisoners. You're free. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> please get out of here. Go scram. I'm scram. Uh -huh. They they don't hesitate. They basically rush, and they they climb. And it's it's funny to you because it looks like most of them know exactly where they're going. Mm. There are a couple that seem confused, but they're quickly grabbed up by one of the other Nymodian prisoners or something, and then pulled along. And then you just disappear out of this building, like through various outlets. Make sure older man, oh Nymodian man, is still with us. Yeah, keep an eye on eight hundred three. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It looked like, as Jessica was saying this, he was thinking about, like, and maybe I can just, uh, uh, and then looks over and sees everybody else <laughs> looking at him. <laughs> but sure. We'll just you, stick with us for a little while. We'll take care of you. So it seems like all the other, all the other prisoners have bolted. They didn't need, uh, they didn't need you to tell them twice. They were gone. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's let our, uh, our three new friends, uh, change into civilian clothes. 
and we can make our way out of here. Okay. So they take the time uh, and change into the civilian clothes that you guys have brought. While they're changing, not in a creepy way, mm-hmm. I want to <laughs> subtly examine Gren's body <laughs> and see if there is anything out of the ordinary about his physical makeup. Okay, go ahead and roll perception. Nice glutes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to call the difficulty on this two purple just because you're two trying purple. to be uh, relatively sneaky about it and not creepy what, at the same time. What did you say time. it was again? Uh, a perception check with two purple dice. Gotcha. Uh, two non-creepy purple dice. While I'm rolling this, I'll explain to my teammates. Um, I am wondering if somehow this guy was like implanted with the kyber crystal and when he gets upset juju happens because of his connection to the crystal i'm just wondering if like he's got like a weird implant or something oh we could cut him open and find out <laughs> wow <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, want, I want that to be a i am a doctor I want that to be a, kind of a last resort yeah. i just want to i just want to kind of give a cursory well, that's fair, because no, like, you can also look for, like, any scarring or anything that's out of the ordinary. That's fair. Right. Any kind of, like, major surgery that possibly had happened. That's why I said it's not creepy. Okay. Uh, the two, not a perk. You, you succeed, so you're kind of watching this guy. Um, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. I mean, it definitely is a different humanoid form than you've seen before. So Everyone's f- different to me. Right. But so it's hard to tell like I what always. what their scars might look like on their I mean, you got a general idea, but it doesn't look like anything is like any lingering like massive no surgical scars, scars or surgical scars or anything, scars okay. or anything mm-hmm. like that from what you can see, no. Alright. It's just an idea. Okay. Uh Michael, for this like journey uh, i should tell you that i am wearing the armored robes armored robes okay and i got from the markov markov is that what was it is so that like name? The, purple, yes. the purple clad uh yeah armored robes cool yeah yeah perfect yeah and i'm back into my uh military style suit with the my armored coat okay very cool. Heavy clothing. Heavy clothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cold outside. Yeah. Like, I have a parka. <laughs> I can't put my arms down. Um, but you guys eventually they the the three meet up back up with you, looking like they're they're dressed up in kind of this normal uh, you know street clothes, and make their way back to you on the tram here. Okay, so. Uh, I turned to the older guy. So, what were you in for? You said you're only in short time. He looks around. Uh, he, yeah, just a short time. He looks back at Gren. Um, looks down. I'm like mouthing the Yeska, like, um, run of people. Is it, could, I got three lips. Could, I could, is there another place that he looks at Yeska and is like, "Can, can we, can we talk in private?" Of course. Why don't we uh, try to uh, start going somewhere, and you and I can talk in the back. So, uh, Gran, why don't you take us uh, to where your mother lives, and we will follow. Okay, I can I can lead you there. Yes. Um, so like I'll 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 kind I'll kind of keep to the back with uh, shifty eyes. Shifty eyes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, you guys all I would guess the Raven and Tizo and everybody would kind of group up with Gren and Shadra as you guys mm-hmm. are moving up kind of forward. Uh, he yeah. starts to move you guys through the Undercity. Now it's very dark down here. Um, it's basically a a ghost a ghost city underneath here. Uh, there's not much going on. Occasional rodents kind of like skitter a- across some, you know, dilapidated rubble from a building that's fallen apart. Um, 
It's hard to find staircases sometimes that lead up. Obviously, none of the technology and stuff is really working down here anymore because it's just been destroyed since the Clone Wars and never repaired. Um, so it makes it a little bit difficult to traverse at times, but it seems like Gren knows what he's doing uh, to some extent. It doesn't look like he has too much experience down here because he's been locked up for a very long time. But probably from communicating with a lot of other prisoners who probably were potential... Like, you get the idea that a lot of gang members use this Undercity as... You know, kind of like a place to go to escape and do shady deals and things of that nature. Um, so he's doing the best that he can to move the whole group through this place and head towards the upper city where his mother uh, lives in the residential district. Yes, guys, you're behind with this individual. And he says to you, well, I've, I've only been recently locked up. So you see... And he looks back up at the front. I think they're far enough away. I am. Um, it's okay. You can tell me. We're friends now, eh? The, no the, problem. The Jedi you speak of. Sujo Ward. Yes. I used to work for him. Oh, did you? I did. I was a hired on as an informant. For him. You see, a lot of the people that were on that tram, I might have had something to do with being in the prison in the first place. Only some, though, I promise, only some. No problem. What, uh, what about, uh, a friend Gren up there. Did you have something to do with his imprisonment? I did I did not, but when I saw how upset he got when you mentioned the name, I wouldn't want to say anything about me working for him and arrest uh, you know, causing people to get arrested. I didn't want to be I don't know I didn't want him to take his rage out on me. Of course not, I understand. I was sure relieved when I was relieved when the, the the one with the helmet took the weapon from him. <laughs> Me too. The the one with the helmet she's alright. Very alright. Tell me, you sure even though you do not have anything to do with his arrest, do you know do you know anything about why he was arrested? How was he in connection with separatists? To be honest, I don't think he ever was. You see... So was this... Was this soldier ward? Uh, was he just throwing people in, in the prison for no reason? Well, see, at first it wasn't that way. Uh, at first when Soljo was here and the, the Republic was in control of the city, uh, Soljo's force abilities, his senses were heightened. He could... He could steer us informants in the right direction of where we could potentially find spies and other uh, conspirators against the Republic so that they could be brought to justice before treachery happened. But then it got to a point where he just started to act on his own. He got impatient. He started to get frustrated. He didn't call on my aid so much anymore. Instead of offering my assistance as an informant, he kind of just went on his own... Uh, his own hunches. And he continuously started to increase the amount of people he was taking in and locking up into the prison. What happened to Soldier? Does he, did he leave here? Did he die here? What happened? I don't really know. But I do know that There was an, an individual, um, his name was Zell Ingot. I got information about him being a separatist spy about 25 years ago, before this all occurred. I was actually about to tell Soljo about this incident when, I don't know, some kind of tragedy struck. 
it's rumors of some kind of peace talks between the separatists and the republic were taking place and then all of a sudden something happened within the city and that's when everything changed that's when the empire showed up I... did soldier have any kind of base of operations somewhere he might have hidden something not that I know of um, he had a, 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 his own estate in the undercity but it was destroyed um, it used to be on one of the lower levels of one of these buildings that now no longer exists the building no longer exists you say. Well, thank the, you for, um, for telling me this. I, kept I promise it, your, your secret is safe with me. I kept it a secret for so long, but finally, eventually the Empire did find me. They kept on taking me in for questioning, but I told them I do not know where Soldier Ward is. They keep wanting to know where he is. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he went. I don't know if he is even alive. But I do know that the Empire is interested in finding him. If he's out there. Apparently some Inquisitor named Shard Draven is in charge of the operation to find him. But I think, I think if you can find this separatist spy, this Zell Ingot, his sole purpose with the separatist was to spy on Ward. He might have information that you're seeking. He still lives in the city. Does he? He does. Do you happen to know where you have an address? Uh, I do. It's deep within the residential districts in an old apartment complex. We are heading there now. Why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Um, he, he, he doesn't uh, have a specific address because the module doesn't give me one. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to say basically he can, he can give you like a comlink ping on your comlink. Kind of like a GPS uh, pin. And kind of indicate that to you on your comm link so that you guys will know where, where that, that is located. We now have a red red pin on our map. That's it. Yeah, it's like... So like a fine... Goes, fine it has fine cast friend. a little shadow yep. off to the side. Yeah, it's like... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and look, uh, my, my, my friend, uh, look in your book and tell me what is your name. <laughs> I thought uh, we were going to make it without it. Was I, I don't have the book, but I have this fancy index card that I've written oh. everything out on. So <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> it makes it work. Uh, my name is Tor. Tor Heido. Tor, mm -hmm. thank you for, for uh, telling me this. Do you have any other helpful information related to these topics? Mm -hmm. And remember... Mm -hmm. Just broke you out the out of the clink. <laughs> he looks at you. He's like, "Listen, I, I don't really have a lot of helpful information, but I can tell you this: the Empire is going to be looking all over the place for you now. You probably don't have much time. The Duke, mm. the Duke is going to be furious." Actually, quite helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your help. Now, now go. Make yourself free. Uh, well, I was kind of wondering. You said no, you, no, go. You Make said, yourself free. You said you were going to take them off this rock. Is there a... Do you I have, did. Do you have room for one more? Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly 
the pilot, the ship is quite small. Uh, doctor, what do you think? It's doctor, you, cargo. doctor, you, you, you stop as Yeska is like hollering up to you guys now. <laughs> so wait, limit. And... I'm just I, with the. We, if we jettison the cargo, maybe we could. Uh... Yeah, no, we don't need to jettison the cargo. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, awful. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, well... Tell you what. Uh... Maybe I can. You, maybe I can you, find. Uh, maybe I can you, find a, a pirate or a pilot or pirate or smuggler uh, within the drop view cantina to get me off of this rock. It's it's the best cantina I have ever visited. Make a deception <laughs> check. I'm just I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Um, Why are we not letting him on? <laughs> I'm confused too. I probably have room. <laughs> uh, what? Just comedy. Just, I thought just it was for funny. fun. <laughs> oh, I thought there was something that you were hiding, and I'm like, what did I miss? <laughs> Honestly, if this is just out, out of character. This guy's a professional snitch. Ah, uh, gotcha. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I understand. Wasn't he? He was like almost a detective looking for separatists or something, and then he got wrapped up. His boss was the bad one, right? And now he won't give in to the Empire. I'm not sure. It's just he sounded like the the kind of CI that gets in with a group of people and then rats on every single one of them and just mm. is a narc. Mm. <laughs> That's just the vibe I was getting from him, and I was just like, we don't need a narc. Well, <laughs> but if we let a narc go, Yeska, if we let a narc go... Oh, that's true. <laughs> At least we can oh. keep an eye on him and drop him somewhere. We don't have to keep him, we just drop him somewhere. I'll tell you what. You can come with us for a little while. Okay. And we can take you to the spaceport. You stick stick with us, we'll drop you off at the spaceport. You can find yourself a ship out of here. That sounds fair. I can I can agree with that. I I wouldn't want to you know, I wouldn't want to be a burden. Anyway. Oh no, no problem. No problem. All right, let's let's catch up with the rest of the group. Don't want me to be suspicious. I'm going to separate from the group and find my way back to our land speeder. Okay, as you guys get, on top. get topside, uh, you find that it is raining and. It makes this whole nighttime city very uh, just basically like lights that are blinking everywhere kind of look blurred and extended through your vision. Uh, it reflections of light shining everywhere through through the city due to the, due to the wet uh, environment. Um, but you also notice that event is like sometimes you'll hear coming from the distance a barrage of blaster fire coming from blocks away. Um, you'll eventually see like what looks Go. like what looks like some kind of armored hover vehicle will like cruise by if it's really at a fast pace with stormtroopers kind of like hanging out the top of it. Like on it looks like the empire is in full swing trying to locate and apprehend all the prisoners that have run out of the prison. It is chaos up here. Um, <laughs> Hands in pockets and walking <laughs> slowly and nervously. Now keep in mind, you guys are one of the very few other species slash races uh, within yeah. the city now. Uh, and you all had your helmets off on the cameras inside oh, the shoot. prison, mm -hmm. except for Raven. 
But there might have been a camera that saw the fact that it was a little suspicious that one of those stormtroopers was flying around with a jetpack. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go ahead and flip my collar up. <laughs> yeah, I, my hood, my hood goes up. Okay. And kind of like over with yeah, my, my head, like down a little already, bit. My cloak is already <laughs> over my jetpack anyway. There you, so. there you go. Looks like you're carrying, you're carrying like a miniature Yoda on your back. Uh, <laughs> jetpack, Duran, what are you doing uh, to try to? I'm just wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> You just pull your jacket. Uh, but you could like take your jacket off and like hold it. Yeah, up. take my jacket. And, like, <laughs> like hold it. Well, that's not yeah. suspicious. That's a... Well, it is no, raining. Blue, like... Oh, like, I'll pretend it's the rain. Yeah, I'll pretend it's like the rain. Yeah. It's like um, rain. Maybe we should stick to the shadows. Cut through some buildings. You know. Yes, Gren. Can you get us off the main streets? Uh, of course, of course. This way, and he uh, leads you off the main street. Raven, are you still wanting to, to leave for the party? Now that you see that there's still Kate, are you still going to go? Okay. All right. So Raven <laughs> makes her way in the best direction that she knows how. Uh, is there a survival skill on your sheet? There is a survival skill. I think yes. there is. Go ahead and make me a survival check. Sure. And I'm going to call this uh, just average to purple because there are there is signage, but it's in alien language, so it might be a little difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm also going to add a setback due to the rain. So because of making it kind of difficult to see and oh, no. pinpoint your location. Like your, your, it's like your your HUD can translate, but you gotta like... Right, right, it's like constantly... Having like trouble with you. the and, water. And the remind me, we we parked outside the, the city, right? Like we, we found a... Yeah, well, you parked a couple blocks, I think, away from the prison. Because I oh, think you, okay. drove, so we still in the city. you drove to the prison area and then you guys got off the out of the land speed okay. and made your way to yeah. the front doors of the prison. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. So you do mm. you do you do find your way okay. It takes you a little longer and then you do suffer a point of strain for all the, the the having to dodge in and out of alleys trying to avoid these squadrons of stormtroopers and stormtrooper lieutenants and captains that keep on moving away you can see that they are in full hustle mode like they are moving and they are looking at everyone that's passing by on the city streets they are looking as soon as they you you actually witness them see somebody that has like this cloak pulled over but they could tell that they were a prisoner by the pinstripe on the bottom of their pants and they basically like chase them down one of the stormtroopers like spear tackled them into into the corner alley and they wrestled them roughed them up a good bit and then cuffed them manacled them and threw them in the back of one of these armored hover speeders uh that are cruising through the city uh, they are in full scale let's get these prisoners round back up and get them back in their cell cell mode um the rest of you are moving along you guys do notice that you are getting closer to that ping on your GPS, and Gren actually tells you that his mother actually lives beyond the ping, so the ping is actually closer. Like you guys would have to pass the pin, the pin on your GPS of this Zell individual before you would oh, get okay. to Gren's house. So Gren, maybe you go get your mother, and we meet up here. Yeah, of course, I can do that. What do you guys think? work we could just uh you could just meet us at the star port instead i don't know about meeting us back here i, I, I could meet you at the star port uh shadra's like i, I could go with Roots. as well and we Roots could all meet traveling. you back there yeah sure traveling in a big group probably is uh not advisable so you go get your mother and meet us at the spaceport we give him our calm frequency. Okay. And the the older fellow, whose name escapes me, uh, will will come. Tor. With us. Tor. Yeah. Tor. You want him to travel with you? Yeah, Tor's gonna stay with us. Yeah. Grin I wrote everyone else's Grin name. looks and he's like, I, I can I can bring him along if you want me to bring him along too. No, no don't, I guess... why don't you stay with us? Okay, sure. I don't. I don't want this like out of character. I don't want this guy to slip up and go. Oh, I, I maybe sent you to prison. Yeah. Oh god. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I think Tori will stay with us. Uh, just keep your head down and try not to let uh, anybody see your faces. Yeah, they're they're all kind of like doing the same thing Dran's doing, like holding the holding the coat over their their head as they're moving through. And those two, uh, Gren and Shadra, they depart and go further down uh, the street. Raven, you successfully make it to your parked land speeder. Okay, I also took a point of conflict because I did nothing when I saw that happening. Oh, okay, perfect. And oh, yeah. but. When I get into the land speeder, as I'm going, I'd like to keep a lookout for prisoners and see if I can grab one into the speeder with me. Okay. Because I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> um, cruising by, it's 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 really difficult. The prisoners that are out yeah. have probably either... Some of them are smart enough to go either indoors or find a place to hide out for a while. Some people mm -hmm. probably looking for changes of clothes. Some people going to reach out with family and friends to try to you know keep them keep them safe. You don't really see anything that's that's you know stands out to you as hey obvious prisoner right here please take me into your land speeder <laughs> you don't right <laughs> you don't yeah see, no don't I was more thinking uh, like if I see yeah. anyone like ch getting chased if oh, I could get, intervene get in my, yeah absolutely uh, are you just jumping in the land speeder and just starting to cruise back towards the yeah basically on the way back. And you're using your comm to go back to where they had the pin set, or are you going back to the spaceport? No, I told them I was meeting them back at the ship. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, uh, you do see you several. You do see several squadrons of stormtroopers about, but you don't see them actively like arresting anyone as they're coming by. You do see okay. them stopping and like questioning people, and like looking at their their faces and stuff, and. Um, you know, shining like flashlights through the rain at different people and stuff like that, looking. You know, they're definitely aggressive. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're definitely being <laughs> they're definitely being aggressive, but that's just the okay. way the Empire is. Uh, but they're not they're not like cuffing anybody or throwing them in the back from what you can see. This is gonna and actually the fact that it's raining and it's night is to your all benefit because now that there's they're so busy doing this right now, you're actually buying yourselves time. Uh, to do everything else before they can focus all their efforts on you. Because <laughs> right now, the main, the important thing is getting the city back under control uh, for the Duke. <laughs> so, well, eventually, as you guys all, I would say, uh, <laughs> I would say that Raven that arrives. Real? Yeah. Is that dog's real? Just, dog's just looking right at the camera. She's <laughs> <laughs> very, she's very insistent about cuddling. <laughs> um, but you guys, Raven, you do arrive at the pin just as it seems like you're watching the other two individuals move on, and you can see that the your other three compatriots, along with Tor, are standing in front of this what looks to be an abandoned apartment building that is several stories high. Like it jets up into the sky, probably about fifty stories. Is there any kind of apartment list with buzzers? <laughs> For um, me, Miller. Like <laughs> it, it looks like there might have used to have been, but this building has been abandoned for quite some time and is just left to left to kind of just its own devices um you do notice though that when you're looking up it looks like there are other entry points at higher points where like if you had like a speeder or something that elevated itself or you were cruising through with an air speeder or something you could stop at other points do we have a speeder that can elevate itself or is it only a land speeder i think yours is only a land so uh, but I don't know. Wait, uh, let's check your speeder. I think there is a section on your speeder sheet. I'm sorry, I was reading something. How far up is this? It's 50 stories tall from what you guys can tell. Um, okay. Yeah, maximum altitude is hover. Mm. Oh, it yeah, is, I think yeah. it would be close to the ground. Yeah, so this one hey, right. have to be. Do you think you could... Uh... And just go up and let this in. Oh, am I here? 
yeah, yeah, she's, yeah I thought arrived. she was going yep. back to the... No, she, she got the land speeder and she pulled up in front of you guys. She's here. She's present. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll help. Okay. So do you think you can go up to one of the open areas on the upper level, come down, let us in? You can see that the, the there is an opening here. It doesn't appear. I mean, there's a door. Yeah, we could just go into the, oh. go into the door. Yes, go. What do you we mean? We're just gonna start knocking on every door, being like, "Hi, are you Zell? Like, is that how we're gonna do this?" <laughs> okay. This, do you said this place looks abandoned, though, right? It does. Looks is that what abandoned. you said? Yeah. But so this there's, is there's but probably. This is where, but this is where Tor, like he's he's adamant. Yeah. Like, this guy lives here. Yeah. And so are there any signs of light? Here. Any of the windows have like a light coming out of them, or not from what like you can tell? Laundry from hanging being, outside. Not from like not from what you can tell from being on the the ground level here. Oh, so like if we could get up, we could peek through windows or something, maybe, or it's possible. Or we just go in. I'm just gonna walk in. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going with them. Um, it looks like Flat when you approach the door, it looks like. It's been somebody tried to like jam it shut, like its mechanisms have been broken for quite some time. So they just like slid it shut and piled a bunch of crap behind it. So with an easy enough like shove to the side, it screeches and squeals a little bit. The mechanisms don't really work that well anymore, but it slides open and there's just like piles of things that you just have to step over uh, inside. Okay. Just a bunch I'm of like rubble I'm gonna just stay in the land speeder. Okay. And keep an eye. Okay. Sure. What are the rest of you doing? You follow the Tuzo in? Yep. Um, yes. Do you guys want Tor to yep. come in with you, or do you want Tor to stay in the land speeder with Raven? Yeah, I think Tor comes in with us, right? Okay. Uh, yes. Is it going to be a problem if Tor meet? Because isn't Tor, Tor yeah. was catching separatists and we're looking for a separatist? Yeah, and this was he told you this was a guy that he had information on as being a spy that was Let's spying on Ward, but then crap went down and ward either died or disappeared and mm -hmm. and then the empire came so then it was all mm. like it was all done uh before tor goes gets into the land speeder uh are you, you sure you don't know which room where they this individual might be 50 floors there's a lot of stairs yeah, it, it, it is. Um, I do not know which floor. Uh, Just saying, if this is a trap, Raven will kill you. I, I, I mean, they're, it's not a trap. I'm not trying to get you hurt or damaged or injured. I mean, he used to be a separatist spy, so I would be on your guard. Fair enough. And I'm assuming that like there's elevators that probably don't work in this building, so it's gonna be stairs only. It's gonna be a lot of stairs, Tizo. God. <laughs> Just hop that swoop up the stairs. That's it. I mean technically I could jump, but <laughs> It's like whenever you're playing a video game and you do like the special maneuver, like every staircase, like to get, get around normally. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just, I mean, I, I can jump short distances without using that. So I mean, I definitely could do that, but <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you guys are making your way up the stairs. I hope y'all are ready for some walking. Uh, yes, I could use some cardio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me. Uh, let I me I am not rushing up the stairs because this is gonna be a long. So I'm gonna like pace. pace you don't, yeah, exactly. Not gonna tire myself out, basically. Yeah, I mean, even in even as you're going up, you guys realize that this this building is showing some wear and tear. I mean, it's it still has it's still holding on to damages from the Clone Wars. So mm -hmm. uh, there's still, there's like a lot of windows that are shattered out on a lot of like the different, different levels. Um, 
there's some parts where you go through and like wa rain water is just like leaking through some of the areas of the stairwell and things like that. Like it's just been, it's a terrible, it's, this building's in horrible shape. Um, yeah. We should probably look for like garbage and footprints and. Yeah. So keep an eye out for any, any signs for human or humanoid people, you know? Sure. Yeah, it, signs it, of habitation. As you guys are moving up, if anybody wants to make a perception or survival check with against two sure. purple dice. Um, Anyone good at that? Oh, you said survival? I have oh, survival. I'm not good at survival. Mm -hmm. I have yellow and green for both. I'm very poor at both of those. Yeah, is this a one person thing or uh, uh, anybody can, can make, we it. All make it? You can all make it. Yeah, you can all oh. make it if you'd like. All right, well, I have a yellow die for perception, so we'll probably do that. Two purple? Two, Two purple, purple, I think. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Well. Well, nothing here. <laughs> On we go. Um, <laughs> Tizo, you really uh -huh. hate st stairs. I do. I yes, I really do. It's so <laughs> bad, and oh, you're going up so many stories, so many floors. It's like one, two, three. So you suffer two strain. Uh, yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dran, Yeska, you guys really don't see anything, but you do have some advantage there. So, is there anything that you think you could expend advantage on? that would fit something narratively to this sequence to give you guys an advantage in some way, even though you failed. I'm using my medical expertise to like look out for like body fluids and stuff to call it out to the next person to help them see if they find anything <laughs> worthwhile. Okay, okay. You know, Focusing someone on... took a leak in a wall or there's a, you know. <laughs> I'm getting good. I, I detect ammonia, you know. <laughs> wow. Oh god, <laughs> panic compounds. I'm just using my, uh, my, my military training and, and background to uh, maintain my, 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 uh, my pace, my physical fitness, so I'm not winded at all. Okay, perfect. Uh, Tizo, you're going up and up and up and up and up. And it feels mm -hmm. like you're going up forever. You don't really yeah. notice anything that would give you any sort of sign that someone was here until you come to about the 40th floor oh, oh no uh, <laughs> what are these strange? Jesus. oh please let there be some kind of fireman's pole <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you do notice that when you come up the stairwell the one door is actually propped open and it's a jar and there is two two rooms down in a hallway uh, an old door that seems to be Slight op slightly opened. It seems to be like a blanket or something like that's going from the room out into the hallway. I will, I will stop everybody. I think this is uh, the first sign of maybe someone living here that we've seen. So we should uh, maybe check this out. Do we want to try and do this quietly or do we just want to like walk in and act like we're looking for this individual? What, what do we what do we want to do here, boys? I think if we uh, if we are too forward, uh, we might get shot at. I think True. the best best option is to be uh, discreet if, and be ready for trouble. If this individual pulls a gun on us, I can take care of that with relatively ease without without my lightsaber. Thank you. Because yep. normally you're taking care of it. He, he will be alive. <laughs> this, <laughs> this individual will be alive. Okay. So do we, but do we want... He didn't say uninjured, just alive. Yes. I, I, I will I not hurt my, the individual. <laughs> I'll have my, my dueling blaster out and, and drawn and uh, ready to shoot the kneecap if need be. Okay. Did, yeah, my did we get a... Stun. Did we get a... Uh, a name for this individual? Yeah, yeah we're looking for Zell, Zell Ingot. Okay, Zell, Zell Ingot. Rothot, but... mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so. did, 
do, do you want me to Let's lead, or do, do, you're you're more of a talker, Yesko? Did you want to? And I'll just be ready to disarm the individual if, or do you want I me to do so. the talking? You and I go in single file. Doctor, you wait here on the stairwell in case he tries to escape your way. He won't make it past me. Good job, Doctor. I'll give him a little pat on the shoulder. Right. Mm -hmm. So, me, me and uh, me, me and Tizo, we stack up at the doorway. And uh, I kind of, you know, get get lower than eyesight level. Kind of. Oh, so you guys are walking around, down the hallway a little bit to the doorway? Yeah. And you guys said you were. You guys said you were. Were you, were you side by side? Or was somebody. Single file, I think. Single fire file behind each other. Okay, so it was. So Yes, I'm behind. Yesko was first? Yep. Okay. So, Yesko's first. This is important. Hallway. I'm keeping my eye out for any. Uh, oh, any no. Track. Is there a role I need to make for that? Okay, there is, actually. I'm glad that you said that. Uh, no. I would like you to make a perception check since you're actively looking. Okay? okay. Your difficulty on this is going to be four purple dice with two upgrades. Oh, oh, can, oh can I help? A trap. Can I help with uh, looking for traps? You can. Is that so something can, I can do? You can aid? add a uh, add a boost die to this check because Tizo is currently helping you. As you guys are slowly making your way down. Because yeah, that's something I would definitely door. be doing. Okay. Uh. Should I flip a light side for this, y'all? I think so. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Good idea. Oh, and I, I do have another question to ask you. Before you make this check, I, I missed this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, because this hallway is dimly lit, very low on light. Uh, oh, do you God. have anything of, of, of your race or species that gives you takes away any setback? Deal with light. Do you I have, have like? Do you have for a vision? Infravision. To be able to see both oh. the infrared and the normal visible spectra. This enables Chiss characters to remove up to one setback added to checks with lighting condition. Okay, Perfect. so oh, I do not. So instead of two setback, you're only going to add oh. one setback that it normally would have been. Are you saying? Are you saying upgrade or setback? So that's are you just upgrade, really. But yeah, it's so you're going to put four purple dice in the difficulty. Then you're going to upgrade okay. it twice. Okay? So it's going to be upgraded two. Okay. And then one black setback die as well because of the dim, <laughs> dim lit conditions. You're going to get oh my God, bear trap. Like, if, I, if I didn't have that, it would have been two setbacks? It would have been two. Yeah. That's correct. This, this check is insane. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So you said this is yeah. a perception check. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jessica. Yeah. Perception. Right. The roll. The roll of my life, y'all. <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh no! That could have been so honestly, much worse. Though, honestly, though, that could have been so much worse. Uh, you take a step, and then another, and you're looking from side to side. It's very difficult to see, even with your infrared eyes. Uh, engaged throughout the hallway. You take one more step, and all of a sudden you hear these two strange clicks from above your head. And you, as soon as you look up, there's some kind of two nozzles that are pointing down directly towards you, and they start oh, spewing oh. this greenish gas. <laughs> and it engulfs both you and Tizo. I need both of you to make resilience checks and these are going to be uh, against three purple dice Dran, you're far enough down the hallway that it does not affect you but you see this happen <laughs> do i see this happening <laughs> yes it's dark but you can tell something has gone wrong you yeah. can hear a hissing noise and all of a sudden your your comrades even though it's dimly lit are consumed by what looks to be a gray cloud of smoke from what you can see uh, um Michael, I recently picked up a new skill. Okay. That uh, 
once per session, I may re-roll any resilience or survival check. So I'm gonna go what? ahead and use that. Right. <laughs> Try and succeed. Once per session, you got it. Here's your once. Yep. Uh, so hopefully it's not worse. Okay, it's, it's a it's, little bit it's, better. It's a little bit better. That's 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 important. That's important. <laughs> okay, so here's oh what happens gosh. as this green gas catches you off guard. Yeska, you try to hold your breath, but in doing so, you actually breathe some of it in. <gasps> and you start to cough a little bit. Something about this is very powerful, toxic, uh, even. Um, and you, you are going to suffer. Three strain from this from this trap. And you do have two advantage though. So I'm gonna come back to you on the advantage on how you could use this to your advantage. How could you use being engulfed by poison to your advantage, Jessica? Think about that. Uh <laughs> Tizo, you'd suffer five <laughs> strain as oh. those th those threat actually add to the total number. So Great. five strain as you are kind of currently choking and coughing on this poisonous gas a little bit in the hallway. Yeah. How do you want to use this to your advantage, Yeska, with those two advantage you, you rolled? Okie dokie. <laughs> get my inventory because all of my other stuff has failed me. <laughs> Knew I should have I... had a rebreather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I have meals ration which So you have some beef jerky? Described as, well, it's described as goopy. Food. Goopy. Goopy food. So like So Slime. like yogurt. <laughs> yeah, yogurt, like yogurt yogurt tubes. <laughs> like yogurt. How high, how high is this ceiling? Um, seven, eight feet. Is it I'm reach in my bag, pull out a tube? And then jump up into the ceiling, grab a hold of it, and like squirt something into the right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You mean it? You're meaning the canisters that are coming out? Honestly, it looks like they were like single-use charges. Because as you look up, it looks oh, like okay. it looks like after that that short hissing sound dissipated, there's no more gas pouring out of it. But and well, I thought it was continuous. No, yeah, it's, that's what I thought too yeah, at first. I, I apologize. Uh -huh. It's not continuous. It's just like a one like. And then it slowly starts to dissipate and go through some of the cracks in the walls. Um, <laughs> All right. In that case, coughing. In that yeah. case, As I'm, you guys uh, are coughing, you guys are like forcing this, the, the, the poisonous gas out of the area as well with your coughs. I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit, but now I'm just going to go for it since I assume that whatever trap I've triggered has alerted someone to my presence. Okay. Is I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know if I should be wary about any other traps or if I should just roll through this door. <laughs> Too much horror. I was just going to charge. <laughs> just roll out. I was just going to charge. Right. Tizo is very reckless, though, so that's understandable <laughs> if you don't do this, but I, Tizo would just well, be off running. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and. But uh, you were first, so. I'm going to go ahead and take a point of conflict. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is normal, us going ahead and saying that we're taking our own conflict. I, don't know I, 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 mean, I, I personally no, I like took, it. I, just I like it. Yeah. I like it that way. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any of the other uh, Star Wars uh, you know, playthroughs for, by any other channel, but I don't know if that's only GM assigned or if we're just extra honest. <laughs> no. But I feel like... I honestly I like think it should, should be... Uh, I think the way this game is built, it's more, uh, it's it's in both of our hands, I believe. So I like it yeah, when you, you guys say, character. "Hey, my, you know, you you probably you know you you play your character, so you know him almost better than I do." So when you say, "Hey, this is 
this is definitely conflict for me. I, I will agree with you 100%. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> this is going to hack off Yeska a little bit. So he's going to combat roll uh, to the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. the door and, and then uh, uh, kick it open. Okay, Tizo's it, following, but he's not doing a combat roll. Yeah, it was it was, <laughs> it was already about halfway open, so you kick it open. Tizo's rushing behind you. Uh, as you get in this room, the room is the same dim, dimly lit as the hallway was. Uh, it does look like somebody might have been in here, but it's currently unoccupied. Uh, but you do notice there is a small, what looked to be an old, kind of the best Star Wars equivalent of a coffee table in the back corner. And there's all these mechanical devices kind of set up. It looks like mechanics that have been taken apart. Uh, kind of like some kind of mechanic or a gadgeteer has been working with something on this table. And it looks like there's some kind is of... Is it a glass? Uh, part of it's glass. Okay. And... Uh, a couple of, and on the corner you can see it looks like a, this older looking comm link that's attached to some strange old vintage speaker and this strange antenna that kind of reaches up from it. Mm. Can I make like a mechanics check to see if I understand what all of these doohickeys are? Sure. Yes, Ka. What I am currently thinking is that this was uh, a someone's hideout, you know? Um, but when that trap went off, they might have ran or somehow. Is there, like, any kind of, like, exit from this room other than the one we entered from that we can, like, see? Well, there are open, there open window with the curtain blowing. Yeah. There are windows, but none of them are currently open. Um, trap doors. And honestly... A with, a, with a screw hanging Honestly, out. you guys were close <laughs> enough to the door, and the door was open. When when this whole gas thing happened, okay. you didn't hear any footsteps or anything. Like, if somebody were running, mm. you would assume you'd probably be able to hear them uh, within the, 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 the closeness of the of this hall to the to the room. Yes, I think uh, we should try hitting the comm link and see who answers. Okay. You do that, I will check out all of these machines. Sure. I'll walk over and, uh, I'll, like, hit the comm link and, like, Immediately hello? when you turn it on, <laughs> you're speaking before you can even say anything. So you turn it on, and what it does is it sounds like it's tapped into a radio signal. Some other, some other comm link symbol. Or some other, some other comm link. And you can hear this individual seems to be very angry on the other side of it. The this this thing. It says, "I will wait." I want them. Go. I want them all round up immediately. I'm currently on my way to the prison itself. I am going to look. Ooh, I want to set yeah. my two eyes <laughs> on these individuals. I want to see their faces. I want to know who they are. I want their names. I want to know where they came from. I want to know how they got here. Oh, no, no, no. It sounds like somebody of vast importance communicating to someone else of how angry they are in their Yikes. plans. This, this Elliot Ness, I want him dead. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like this is not a comm link that you can talk into, Tizo. Gotcha. This is like a wiretap like scanner. It's like, yeah, scanner, it's, yeah, it's like a, yeah. they have rigged this thing to tap into other comm link channels and things of that nature. Is this something that we could move and take? Yes, it's big. It's kind, just, it's kind of, imagine like it. imagine a boom box. OK, <laughs> imagine like a boom box, like a smaller boom box. That's what it, <laughs> that's what it would look like. Uh. <laughs> I am totally grabbing this and I'm going to bring it. To, I think uh, Raven would like this thing. Mm -hmm. um, Let, you do hear please. several. You see, you hear communication back on this too. It sounds like some stormtroopers are talking back and saying, "Yeah, we've we've cut some off at at, at the at the intersection, uh, and um, we we had to put a few of them down." Okay. So it sounds like if the prisoners aren't willing to comply, they're just putting them down. Okay. Last fire was. Uh, mm -hmm. let, let's, let me make that mechanics check real quick. What is the difficulty on there? Um, two purple. 
Yeah, and I just want to see what you know all these doohickeys are. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. whoa! Nice, nice. Unfortunately, in the it. process, you break two of them. <laughs> uh, that's what the threat's gonna be. <laughs> oh, it was. You always want to spit my drink out. <laughs> It was, it was like this when I got here. <laughs> Tizo, you hear crashing from over on the table as you're picking up this this uh, this speaker. Uh, but you did very good. You can tell whoever is using the is using these tools and, and and manipulating and pulling parts. These are scavenged parts of it looks like just average mechanical devices, like like things that would activate sliding doors, things that would activate. You think some like just really nonchalant crappy things that he is taking apart and like reformatting and repurposing. It looks like one of them is actually like an infrared scanner that he's made. That looks like kind of like if you were sneaking down a room and you pass through it, it will trigger some something effect. And this person has, if from what your four successes, this person has a pretty good mechanical skill set. This person's pretty crafty. Yes, I think we should uh, thoroughly search the room to see if there's any kind of exits. And you guys have seen like Raven, oh, too. Yeah. And you know that Raven is pretty crafty in her own right. She might have some mm -hmm. expertise mm -hmm. in some of this stuff. I will. I will can, I like take a, can I, like, take a cell phone? Yeah, I'll say your comlink can. Yeah, you take, like, a holographic yeah. image and you, you send it. I'll use, I'll, use my, I'll use my tricorder. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Bring Raven. it all. Raven, you're getting this uh, this right. imaging coming in through your helmet. Uh, and, and she says to bring it all. <laughs> as Raven. much as you can. Raven, I have a new uh, toy for you that we found. I'll, I'll get a few things and then I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll leave a, a, a pile of credits. Doctor, you can come in too, by the way, now. Uh, this individual is here. Just be careful on the way in. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to walk down that hall after that nonsense I saw. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, Fair I'll enough. Leave like 70, I'll leave like 70, 75 credits. Okay, perfect. Uh, Raven, do me a favor. I need you to make either a uh, perception or a vigilance check for me. And the difficulty on this is going to be two purple dice with two black setback. Because of the weather and the darkness. Oh, I thought she was getting stabbed. No. <laughs> By this. <laughs> getting stabbed by the. Oh. Ooh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, the goodies that they're showing you uh, look look pretty look pretty well crafted. Oh no. This is awesome. anyway, Yeah. Okay. I want to search the room for any, like, uh, secret exits or, like, maybe a false wall that goes into another room, maybe, or something Don't like that. Don't take too long, boys. We need to get back to port. It's a little bit longer. We still need to find Tampa Crystal. So, is this going to be, like, a perception check or something? Yeah, or make a perception what, what check. I... With, uh, we'll just call it average difficulty, two purple. So two. Okay. okay. Do, do, perception. Of course. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything here. Having a great day, y'all. Well, yes, <laughs> I think that's it, right? Uh, right, you ready to head back down these there's still are, floors? There still 40. are ten uh, more floors above you. Still ten 50. more floors, guys. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, true. Mm -hmm. Let's go up. This uh -huh. could only be workspec. Maybe he is a multi-level person. Yeah. Okay. Plus, we've gone this far already. Let's go ten more floors. Yeah, let's go up now to the top. I will, now you said you, you said this was like an infrared scanner to like trigger anything. It's like or basically it's basically a laser trip wire. Like if you pass through the okay. laser, it'll nice. trigger something. It's set the trigger. Okay, so we could set up something with like that. the bridge okay. thing. Yeah, it's not currently that connected to anything yeah. to trigger. It's just the triggering mechanism. So like you'd have yeah, to okay. actually like so if I if you want me to build something I yeah, can use that she can now build okay, something so yeah, bigger poison bomb red uh, I, I laser believe, trigger basically uh, 
I'm going to leave 75 credits and uh, use a finger in the dust and write uh, sincerely a satisfied customer. Okay, okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Excellent. So you guys are, uh, are heading up the stairwell? Yeah, we'll head up the last yeah. 10. Yeah, okay. 10 still, uh, or whatever. We, we've we've kind of evened out this uh, mechanic hodgepodge among us, so it's not too heavy. Put it in mm-hmm. uh, duffel bags. And, yeah, and still, still going up with the blaster drawn, ready to fire. Okay. Are you still looking for anything around? Yes. Are you leading the way, Jessica, or is someone else leading the way? Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels leading the way. Hot Wheels I, leading I will, the way? I will help with the check to look for traps also. Okay, I would like you to make another perception check. This is the same as it was before. Four purple. Oh, no. Upgraded to. Oh, I'm hanging back. One, <laughs> one black setback. And one boost. And one boost. From me. Um, From Tizo. So I'm going to do a thing. Uh, I was going to save this for a combat, but since it's going to be extra difficult, I'm going to use my sense danger... Okay. Uh, for you know, like kind of uh, career power to remove uh, a setback. Okay, you may nice. remove it. Because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> All right, and this is a this is a perception or yeah. Since you're actively survival. looking, it is perception. God. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're moving awfully fast down that hallway. Oh my god, this is why I said come back down. <laughs> so you're coming up, you get up you get up two more stories up, and then you take a step, yes, and all of a sudden you hear and you oh look god. to your side really quick, and then just this blue flash just emerges, like it almost consumes you entirely. Like <laughs> Uh, Tizo, since you were standing right behind... I, yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna, just gonna say, I'm, like, right behind Jessica. Yeah, so <laughs> everyone engaged also must do this. I need ev- all, both of you to make a coordination check with two purple difficulty. And because I'm your, your friendly neighborhood Sith Lord, I'm gonna use a dark side point, and I'm gonna upgrade that <laughs> once for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, I gotta check something on my force power really fast, because I have something for coordination. Oh, oh. I'm going to die. <laughs> going up the building is nothing compared to this hunk of junk. <laughs> okay. Raven, I wish you could see this right now. It's extraordinary. So far, Raven, so, yes. Raven's looking kind of good. Video link me in, Doctor. <laughs> Video link me in. What's happening? Y'all pull out my hollow projector and show her. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Bloody hell, what are you boys doing? Get down here! Uh, <laughs> Just your, uh, over the comms. I get to use my enhance ability whenever I make a, uh, typically in an athletics check, but I have the upgrade that I can use it for coordination also. I can use force die to give me, uh, what, hold on, what was it? It was, uh, you may spend force to gain a success or advantage. Per force spent. Okay, perfect. For wow. this check. So, uh, right. coordination. Ooh, you know, wow. I'm not going to spend it. I succeeded. You succeeded. So, you're going to spend them. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Okay. You're very coordinated. Ooh, actually, hold on. Could I, do I have, if I have a black force die, but I have two light, do I have to spend. Do I have to take conflict for that, or can I use the the light side? You without... can use the, you can use the light side and not use the dark side and not have to take any conflict for that. Resist the yeah. urge. Is, can I? No, force force ones don't cancel each other out, like the rest. So, I will go ahead and use the two light side then to give me advantage. Uh, okay. Two two advantage for each or for um one for each. So, is there any way I can? Maybe lessen the impact for Yeska. Pull him out or, of the way a little bit. Um, 
Unfortunately, or is there any way I can do anything like that? Unfortunately, this. Hmm. If he would have yeah, rolled, if he if he would have rolled some threat on his roll, I would have allowed it. Uh, okay, but, but this no. one has it's kind of like a base uh, set of damage, and then on top of it, he would have received more if he would have rolled threat. So it's not really gotcha. going to help him because this is kind of like a flashbang grenade that just went off okay. and just illuminated your area. Uh, you are able to shield your eyes quickly oh. enough, Tizo. You suffer oh. nothing. Okay. You take nothing. Okay. Yeska, you take eight points of strain damage, and you are dis oh. disorient three. So for three rounds, you are disoriented. But we're not in I a combat a situation. We're not in a combat situation. <laughs> so you're just kind of like seeing this you massive greenish blue glow in the middle of your eyes as you're trying to regain your sight. Uh, in this dark I just hallway. stabilize him. I grab his shoulders and stabilize him. <laughs> you're okay. You're okay, buddy. I hate this building. I hate this town. I hate this planet. This, this building is really bad. Can we leave yet? We gotta check the I next asked floor. you to come down earlier. You said you didn't want to. What? We have to check the rest of the floors to make sure he's not up on the, the other floors. We'll be down in a second. Jessica, are you okay? Jessica, Jessica, it was a flashbang. It wasn't a concussion grenade. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this thing should have affected your ears. I think that might be something else going on. <laughs> Honestly, the bang part of a flashbang. True. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it, it rings. Yeah. <laughs> It does like, ring for like a moment, consider, yeah. Consider yeah. being heavily impaired <laughs> sensory-wise for the next couple. Sure. So I'm just going. I've got my. I've got my translator. Okay, so I'm going to type in my translator and show it to you. Just like. I think it was a flashbang. <laughs> yes. I will. Well, you can't see. I don't know how to indi indicate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, once. Once for Morse code. Uh, once for no, two for yes. I twice. Yes. <laughs> um. Can we go now? All three of no. you in on the stairwell. I need you to make a vigilance check for me. Oh no. Um, oh. What do I yep. do for that? Yeska, since I... since you just told me that your ears were ringing, this is based on your hearing. So you're going to need to add two black setback to your check. This is going to be an average two purple roll. Um, as you guys are standing in this oh, stairwell. Oh, there's a success. Oh, there's an advantage. Advantage. And here it comes down. Oh, pipe. Michael, by the way, I used my two advantage for my force to regain strain. That's okay, right? Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow. Uh, How is this possible? Nice. I shake it off. I, I, I walk out of the room. Yeah, uh, and on, honestly, you could use those two advantage to heal two strain if you'd like to, Yeska. You probably uh, no. should. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, Duran, do you have any strain currently? Uh, I don't think I do. Okay. If, if there's anything else that you you don't succeed on this check, but you could use that advantage if right. you think of something advantageous in this situation. But uh, I'll explain what they the other two pick up on, and then you can see how your if, if you want to see how your advantage would fit in that way. Um, you guys cool. hear what sounds like somebody running up the stairs, maybe like a floor or two ahead of you. You hear the patter of feet like above us, above you. Hmm. I take off running. Okay. Tizo starts running. I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take another point of uh, conflict for this. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna over to the doctor and go. There's somebody upstairs. <laughs> yes. And I take. I mean, then he, you see me take off running. Could I use my advantage to like in the moment for everyone takes off, like throw in, a, like charge him up with battle meditation? Uh, sure. Like All get right. an opportunity to get off my force. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. As you one, see. Two. Yeah. Battle. Boom. Oh wait, that was. Well, okay, I mean, you got one, one, you got one light side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you so just... I can call upon that. Yeah. Was we, that we, we, was that needing difficulty? 
Uh, that was no. accidentally not clearing yeah. out my difficulty there. <laughs> so with Battle Meditation Basic Power, I can spend Light Dark uh, to add one automatic success to all checks made by a number of engaged friendly targets okay. for the next until the end of my next turn kind of thing. No. So do you need uh, to do you need to spend the dark side to do anything else with this or are you gonna leave them be? Uh, no, I'm only gonna I gonna could extend teaser? range, but I, I was assuming we're all yeah. you know close. So. Yeah, you're all close there. Uh, getting getting Yeska cool. back to him himself after that episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, you give uh, Tizo some battle meditation. He starts running. Are you guys running up behind him? Or are you guys kinda hang back uh, yeah. for a little bit and then, then go um, imagine like imagine like a uh, stairwell at a hotel that goes up a little bit has a landing and turns around comes back and ha goes up a little bit has a landing turns around and goes back it's almost like it kind of keeps on wrapping around kind of like I, any I chase scene in any james bond movie where they're chasing through the stairwells yeah. can we can we <laughs> see up the stairwells um not really they're not like made or is there like or a anything. there's like a wall there so okay I was gonna say, if, if there was, if it was open, I could just jump. That's yeah. what I was. Yeah, you can't. There's, there's a wall. Oh, oh, like force jump yeah. through the yeah, middle. Yeah, just oh, jump. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know. But, oh well. Uh, Raven. I am also gonna bust out. Oh, good. oh yeah. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Yeah. What are you gonna bust out? While we're running, I want to use something I haven't used in a while here. This is field commander. If I pass this average leadership check, allies. Uh, adjacent allies equal to presence can basically take some strain to like get a free maneuver, which I imagine maybe let's oh, cool. run faster, try to catch up. Okay. Sure. Go ahead and make a uh, average means two purple. So go ahead and make a two purple. Well, I left my I left my cards on because I can't on. use dice like a grown up. But, <laughs> like a grown up. <laughs> like yeah. a grown up. You're equal grown to up. your presence. What is your presence score? Uh, my presence is I think three. Okay, Dang. so basically everybody else can take a free maneuver. Uh, so yeah, I'll say that speeds you guys up. If you spend up. a strain, if you if you choose yeah. to spend a strain, yeah. Oh, so you, I, I will just yeah. say, MG, you will make if you use this in combat. I would be the most broken person ever because yeah. all my things take maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Good really more. That's yeah. more of a. That's more of a combat kind of yeah. situation because of, of how it yeah, gives yeah. you the maneuver. Out of combat, I mean, an extra maneuver doesn't really help you all that much, but I would say it does speed you guys up a little bit. Uh, you you would probably have to suffer one extra. strain per person, probably, that you're doing this to. So, because um, it says one strain to perform one free maneuver, it would probably be based yeah. on how the number of people, I would say. I'm not going to perform any maneuver. I, I'm... Okay. I'm not gonna take more strength. <laughs> okay. I, I am running up as fast as possible. I'm just gonna, and gonna running. feel really good. Tizo, gonna feel I, really inspired. And and you are you are very athletic, and you can hear mm -hmm. the footsteps getting closer as you're making your way up. Whoever is running from you is definitely way slower than you are. Um, I will I will stay mm -hmm. over the comms to Raven. There's someone running to the roof, or at least I'm assuming the roof. Yep, that's why I said. Oh, and, oh and my! <laughs> but I'm still uh, I take the keys of the speeders. The guy <laughs> can't take them. Smart. He's parked. Okay. <laughs> and I say, "Stay here. I'll be right back." I think I he's go. with he's with them. I think. No, he's in the car. Oh, he's in the car. Oh, he's in the car. Okay. Stuck him in the car. Maybe yeah. Okay. Shoot got him. you. Got you. Okay. So I took the so, keys so we can't steal this thing. Jet packing up. Child locks enabled. Yeah, lock. Your Mandalorian friend takes to the sky. Go ahead and make a planetary uh, check for me. Uh, two purple dice. Sounds so hardcore. And go ahead and add <laughs> one black setback due to the weather. Now I really just want to rewatch The Mandalorian. <laughs> the new season comes out the 30th. I know, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait. Hey, uh, also, Tizo, hey. I need you to do me a favor. Yes. I need you to make a vigilance sure. check for me. Oh, God. Okay. And the difficulty on this is going to be four purple upgraded twice with two black <laughs> setback added to it as well. Uh huh? <laughs> 
But you, does do you get an automatic success from having a? Uh, you do. You automatic Sweet. success. We gotta see if uh, if he gets a failure, it'll, fail it'll, it'll just, block it, it just out. Just depends on how bad. The how bad do you be. fail? Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, that me. Three because the, the other success That's true. cancels out. Yep. So it's crying in a bucket. Yep. True. Uh, oh. Raven, you have no problem navigating the darkness and the rain as you're jetting up, flying faster and faster as you move up towards the top floors of this apartment complex. You can see that these buildings at various heights have different, um, what do they call them, like a skyway or walkways that lead uh, from one building to another and some of them have bridges across the top that lead from the top of one building to another or from the top of one building to a mid level of another and it looks like there is mm -hmm. one of these bridges at the top mm -hmm. on the 50th uh, mm -hmm. the very top of the roof above the 50th floor and you're jetting yourself mm -hmm. up there and eventually you land conveniently enough to hear a large bang come from down below you <laughs> as something has been triggered on the stairwell below um, Teaser, are you alright? Um, we'll see. All of a sudden, this massive detonation comes from the stairwell oh, above no. Duran and uh, and Yeska. I would like for. Oh man, it's just an immediate suckers. Ooh. Great. Okay. Good news is, is you didn't roll any threat, uh -huh. and you didn't roll any despair. That is very good. But you suffer 10 mm -hmm. wounds as you were engulfed oh with shrapnel. It's not, it's, it, it, basically, there were frag uh -oh. grenades attached to the walls that exploded. Did in you go down? <laughs> Are you doing, uh, buddy? Are you down? I'm unconscious. Oh, oh no. Technically, I went two points over unconsciousness. <laughs> oh, no. So. I guess, I mean, if, if can I catch up okay, to him? Since you he's... fell unconscious, uh -huh. you have to make a crit check. Uh-huh. On, on Luckily, the... I don't have any other crits. You oh, don't no. have any other crits, so this is just going to be just a standard, no no additional add-ons to the crit. So you can just roll it. Oh, my! Oh! <laughs> oh! That's messed up! That's that a bad one! <laughs> Oh, suffer yeah. one strain each time you perform an action. You're gonna miss you. <laughs> oh gosh, Tizo. Oh, All right. No. Re in response to this, Dran and Yeska, what do you do? I'm you gonna run up and force heal him. Okay. Yeah. Rushing up to force heal. Excellent. You can do so. Yeah, I'll uh, run up and I guess see him in the rubble. Yeah. Let's pull him out of here. And then just. Can I also Jam a, a stem or something. Okay. <laughs> I have to use the dark side. I have to use the dark side to do it. You have to use the dark side to do it. I have to use the dark side. So I'm going to use it. But he can heal seven wounds. Oh, nice. Because it's, I have the, the, what is it? The magnitude on my force heal. So I, it's my That's intellect plus my medicine. Are you That's using all three then. of those dark side points? I think I only have to use one. Let me double double check just to make sure I'm not being yeah. completely wrong here. But I think that if I look at the thing, which is heal harm magnitude. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Oh never mind. No, uh, it is control, and there's no additional thing to it. Uh, is Jessica close? Yeah, Jessica would be right with, you. with you. I'll spend it all to heal any. Do you have any? Is he wounded at all? I, I, got, I got a little bit. Okay, I will. I'll spend all three to to increase my magnitude, which I can affect one additional target. So. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you also take three, uh, three conflict, three okay. strain. Okay. And you have to flip a dar uh, destiny yeah. point. Yeah, I flipped. Oh, yeah, a, I yep. flipped a destiny point there. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So it's just like it's just like a bubble of health. So, yeah. and then you use the stim pack on me too? Is that what you? I'm also going to stim you. Yeah. Okay, I'm a, okay stim, I only have yes. one wound then. Okay, now so get up! Let's get up! There's like ah, smoke ow. everywhere in here. It's like broken steps and sh shattered pieces of wall just everywhere from where he uh, detonated oh. this explosion. Um, you guys can hear from above you. Maybe it, from, asbestos. from above you, you hear a door open. And then you hear a, ah! 
as this thing, uh, whoever this is, this is, just opened the door and sees a Mandalorian standing on the roof. And it was very surprised to see the Mandalorian. Oh my god. Uh, this individual. Like... <laughs> it's kind of like, he turned around. <laughs> it looks like an elderly looking Nymoidian holding a little holdout blaster in his right hand. And as you're pointing the gun, like, right at him, he's like, eh, eh. We just wanted to talk. Eh. Put the gun down. He immediately, like, drops it at your feet. I use Zell. Eh, I am. I, I, I am. Have you, have you come to kill me? No. Unless you've killed one of my men, then maybe. You were... You were... Who were you sent here by? Did the... Did the Empire send you for me? No. <sighs> Did... Did, did Soldier Ward send you to kill me? No, but we're looking for Soldier Ward. Something he had, we're looking for. You were told that you might have information on that. <sighs> and at about this time, the rest of you kind of rush up and see that this little sickly almost looking elderly Nymodian is standing there in the rain on the roof with a massive gun pointed at him from the Mandalorian <laughs> on the roof and it looks like Raven has already I, started. I, uh, I, I cock my, my, my pistol and I lay it on the back of his head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like limping I, up and I covered in dust I'm and good. blood. <laughs> and I lay in the like Answer the nice Mandalorian's questions. Now. Yeah, you would... yeah. Yeah, was it the... Was it, was it the syndicate? Did they send you to kill me? No one sent us to kill you, man. We just want answers. Listen, so, Soldier Ward, he was uh, one of the Jedi here that was supposed to, um, there was some, the talk of peace talks, the Separatists, the Republic, a ceasefire was supposed to happen long ago. Right. Um. Something went wrong. The meeting, it erupted into violence. And as, as far as I knew, the Separatists were sincere about their desires to cease fire. Why would they want their lands, why would they want their, their cities to be destroyed? They wanted, they wanted the fighting to stop here in Jorah. It wasn't a ploy. I do know that... Do you know where the kyber crystal is? I do not. I don't even know what a kyber crystal is. But I do know... We are looking for uh, items that Soldier Ward would have wanted kept safe. There are two people that I know that were the last to have seen Sojo Ward. Sojo Ward lives. At least, I think he does. Only Ward survived that battle that day of the three Jedi that were present. He left Cato Nymoidia immediately after. The common belief on all Jorah is that no matter what happened that day, it was Ward's fault. Uh, 
After these negotiations had happened, I received no farther contact from my separatists, leaders, and my handlers of the Trade Federation. But there were two people present that day that I know still live. One is called TH313, a former clone trooper turned stormtrooper. He witnessed firsthand what had happened. He serves under Duke or Bayan of Jura. The other was a diplomat of the Confederacy of Independent Star Systems. Her name was Orion Hassar. Today she is one of the most successful and reclusive business executives. Tizo. And you know immediately that person yep. is the leader of the name. White Car White Scar, uh, Scar Syndicate crime criminal organization. Listen, I know nothing about no kyber crystal or what it does or what it means. I've spent most of my years here hiding in hopes that if Sojo Ward is out there, which I believe he is, that he will not come back for me. And leave me in the dust and the rubble of the Undercity like he did all those other diplomats. Do you have access to some kind of medical care or a doctor? I mean, I can find my way to the hospital, if that's what you're asking. Good. And I shoot him in the foot. <laughs> and I'm going to take another I'm going to take another point of conflict. Actually, before you do that, there's actually something in here Just, uh, about conflict in this uh, with this guy. Uh, yeah. You actually suffer 3 conflict for that, not just one. That's fine. <laughs> I I am feeling incensed by this dude. <laughs> so a blaster shot. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, 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 as he's like, <laughs> he falls over onto the the rainwashed ground it, of yes, the. Sir. Oh, oh. He said, um, he said, um, this man him. is a smart man. He he could help build us stuff. I'll start patching him up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Please excuse the violence of my passion. <laughs> This guy does this to everybody, don't worry. <laughs> yes, it's not possible. I, apo I apologize, and I drop five credits at him. <laughs> <laughs> Try to yes, because I'm on a trip today. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> the change like falls onto the, <laughs> the credits. <laughs> Michael, how wounded is this guy? Um, He's not, not extremely just wounded. Shoot him. Like, I shot up a toe. What do, what do you want to do? I guess I, I would try to do a kind of medical check on him to fix his uh, we'll finest foot. Yeah, we'll we'll just call it one purple. Nice. I didn't shoot him bad. <laughs> it's fine. Just let oh. leave it at oh. that. Oh, and again, yeah. I left yeah. the horse on. Can't reset, but <laughs> yeah, you uh, you definitely are able to to heal most of his. Well, patch up his and bind his wounds in a way that it would not be, you know. Something that will, will – he's already old and slow, so it's not going to hurt him too much more as you buy Zell, how would you feel about getting off world for a little bit? Um, I don't know. I they, – they could be anywhere. They could find me. At least here well, I have my – have... At least here I have my surprises. <laughs> what are you bragging about those? We've experienced hurt a lot. 
<laughs> yes, why don't you come with us, bring your surprises with you, or at least the knowledge of those surprises, oh, and we can oh, get you somewhere safer off the world for a little bit. Okay. Also, with a, a person of your expertise, uh, I you, could use you. You probably have some connections that uh, we could possibly use. Uh, could you get us in contact with uh, Arena Sar? I can get you there. You do that and we'll protect you. Oh. Okay. Um. Sure. Uh, we okay. need to get out of here. How about okay. we get out of the rain now? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> so you guys make your way back down the stairwell. Uh, he points out a couple of few, uh, a couple other places uh, not to step. Uh, <laughs> As you guys make your way down the stairs, and you make your way back to the land speeder in which Tor is still sitting inside, patiently waiting for you all to arrive. And you guys get back into the land speeder, out of the rain. Yeah. Where, you, where are you headed? I think you headed we head back, back to, to the, back yeah, to the ship, ship, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. You guys make your way back to the ship. As you get there, you realize that uh, standing in front of the spaceport, because they really didn't know, basically they're at the main entrance, they really didn't know where to go, is uh, uh, Gren and uh, Santa open. The two, the elderly woman with her Gren son that you broke out. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I was thinking Sadra. Is she with them too? Shadra, yeah, she's with them too. Yeah, all three of them. And they, it looks like they have made it through all that commotion from a meeting with Zell, you guys make your way back to the spaceport. You find your way and you notice that surprisingly enough, uh, it seems that the security here is a little bit lighter. And it seems like most of the stormtroopers have been called out to try to help with scooping up prisoners right now. But you have a feeling like within the next few hours, that this place is going to be bustling with stormtroopers because they're going to be preventing people from getting out of here. Like the people that got away or that are not accounted for, they're going to be really watching this spaceport to make sure nobody boards anything and nobody gets out of here. So we've got a very short time to get what we need and get out of here. I still have the comm link thing also that, so we can tune into what they're saying. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say that thing, like you got to, you at least tell me when you're activating it. It's kind of like an on off kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you don't really want to mm -hmm. have it probably on the whole time that you're cruising around, you know, lis listening to, you know, the Duke of the city giving communications to stormtroopers and captains mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, I was going to leave it on the ship also when we got back, unless okay. someone wanted to bring it with us. So, cause this thing's um, big. What? Michael, can you remind me, what was the name of the group of street toughs that helped snuck us into the prison? The Crimson, Crimson Creehawks. And were they a part of this crime syndicate? You get They night, report to them, I they, think, right? They report to them. The it's, white car. it's almost like they think they're their own entity, but really, the but White really Scar Syndicate runs the show. It's basically all these separate okay. gang entities are under one banner, basically. Yeah, under the capo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, you guys have made it safely back to your the spaceport, and you guys are aboard the Phoenix currently, out of the rain. I'm gonna try to get on the comm to the 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 Creehawk leader and see if see how see how they're doing and see if their person got out okay. Lore, who was looking for Zam. I'm taking Zell to um, my mechanic room, okay. like my gadgeteer room. Perfect. Yeah, I want to get uh, set up uh, there. I want to follow because I want to talk to Zell also. Uh, you hear on the other side of the comm link, Yeska. You see? <laughs> well, 
made it quite a show. Hey, so my friend, how 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 is it with you? Did uh, the package arrive safely? Ah, uh, the package is here. You've done well. Actually, ah, uh, thank you. You've done better than expected. Well, you know, we're professionals. <laughs> 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 As you almost die so many times, these boys. Uh, Cut to the montage of everyone that. just screaming. Montage of gas die. in the hallway, explosion in the falling stairs. Off a tram. It's falling off a tram. It's falling off a tram. So I say, uh, say, my friend, uh, we are looking for someone. You may have a professional acquaintance with. Do you think you could provide introduction? Who is that that you're seeking? Uh, someone named Hassar. Named, named uh, Hassar, Orion Hassar. Heh. You've done me a great favor. I'll do you one better. When do you need to meet with her? Honestly, as soon as possible. Uh, the stormtroopers, they seem to be a bit agitated for some reason. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> yeah. Well. Meet, um... I can set you up a meeting. You need to meet in the uh, the more ritzier section of the residential <laughs> district. Look for the Tower of the Gleaming Gold, and you will know you're in the right location. Be there in 20 minutes. I'll have it set up. Thanks, my friend. And hey, now I owe you a small favor in the future. Possibly. Well, and so I, I ring off with him. Okay. And I, I let I let uh, our team know what's going on. Uh, so we can have a meeting with uh, this uh, Hassar in the nice side of town. 20 minutes. <clears throat> so we got all of our friends here. I think, uh, I don't think all of us should go. Some of us should stay back. I like how you... Some should stay back to look like... after the ship and uh, our, our new guests. I, I volunteer to stay here. As I'm like still holding some wounds. <laughs> what were you saying, Michael? Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, I, th I think it's great how you guys are just collecting Nymoidians here from Cato Nymoidia and yeah. just putting them on your on your ship. It's like, <laughs> it's like, them all, you know? This happens on like, my, this happens on Friday nights a lot too. It's like there's just this collection of people. <laughs> we're, just, we're just picking up strays. <laughs> you know. Doc, I don't know if you can. We're just picking up randos. Yeah. <laughs> hey, on with the bus, so you know. We're gonna re uh, repopulate the splint splinter. Splinter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think I will go because I have the connection. Uh, who will come with me? Doctor? I will go. I'll drive. All right. Doctor, you stay here, please, uh, and keep an eye on our guests. Doc, if you could, uh, I don't know if you could do anything about these uh, injuries or anything, but let's give it a try. Yeah, I think that. Uh... I don't. I don't remember how critical uh, healing criticals work. So uh, you can make you can make one uh, medical check against uh, on it, but it can only be made once yeah. per week. Okay, it's and three purple. It, it's a three purple difficulty one because it's a big one. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, I think I would probably call upon the the light side here to hope destiny's in my favor. Uh, if okay. We're gonna try this. Yeah. Okay. I'm flipping a destiny point. 
Yeah, I need this yep. gone. <laughs> Looking around at the people around us, I don't suppose any of you have any medical training. Give me a hand here. Or... Um, Shadra steps up. Uh, I, I have a little, Ooh. so she'll give you a boost. Oh. All right, let's give it a go. <laughs> I think all you need is one success. Oh, well. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. Uh, yes. Balance. The critical injury has been removed from Tizo. Yeah, the lights, I think that happened. So we're, we're getting real <laughs> stacked right now. Yeah, it's real Where's stacked it? in my Where's favor. It? Okay, so... I want to see what this heal button does, so it might roll real fast. Oh, no, it doesn't. Cool. It should just take it off, right? Oh, okay. So just, yeah, it just takes yeah. it off, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, cool. Yeah, triumphs would just heal additional critical injuries, which is not a thing. Yeah, if you if he yeah. had two critical injuries, that roll would have healed them both. Yeah. Wow. Man. Because of the, the triumph is an additional critical gone. So, that's yeah. awesome. Great roll. Could we say with the triumph that maybe I, like, get by without using a lot of my medical equipment so I know that, like, this thing will last longer? Or... Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's a great use of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So like, yes, Yeska and Rin. Like <laughs> <team. laughs> Yeska and Raven are headed via land speeder to the location that uh, that Yeska was given. You guys make your way. It's kind of like on the edge of where like the corporate district meets the residential district. There's like these really nice towers where definitely the elite the people that still have money in in jora are here and this this light this tower is lit up with these elegant lights that kind of run up top of it up to the top of it and when you guys pull up to the front there's kind of like this drive-in area where you can drive in and get out of the rain and actually there are some individuals kind of standing valet. there yeah there's valets here like they are literally like walking up to your land speeders. You pull up, and they are just. Uh, can we can we help you? Uh, yes, please. I uh, need you to take care of this uh, this vehicle. Uh, not a scratch on it, please. And I will. Uh, call, oh wait, uh, wait, credit, wait, credit one wait one moment. Wait one moment. He 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 looks at you trying to hand him a credit, and he kind of pushes it back towards you. No, I, I, it's Palm, so it's it's. Okay. You're trying to hide it. Just as I shake his hand. You, oh, I I can I cannot accept this. Please, you must take it back. I cannot accept this. Oh, sorry, it slipped out of my sleeve. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Listen, um. Uh, she is expecting you. And he. Thank you basically leads you to the front door of this rather ravishing estate. Raven follow, uh, following with Yeska. Okay. Um, you guys make your way and you make your way to an elevator. It seems to start rising up several floors. And you make your way into A very elegant room that is just really it's it's it just doesn't look like it should be here from what you guys have seen so far on Jorah like this is somebody who obviously has money and they they have very decorative artworks kind of posted all around the room sculptures of abstract uh, entities and things like that that kind of reach around the corners of the room and also on the tables and things of that nature. There is a large, elegant table in the center of the room with red and gold fabrics kind of hanging over different things, tapestries along uh, the, the walls that hang with these interesting futuristic-looking logos of different sorts. Um, it's like Sam and the artwork I... Very appreciative. You know, you can learn a lot about the culture and about its tactics from its artwork. <laughs> um, 
At that point, a door opens from beyond. And three individuals walk into the room. One of them is definitely Nymoidian. But here's the thing. Imagine a Nymoidian that has been... That has mechanical things attached to her as you see her come out. She has kind of like this thing over her mouth. She has one eye that does not look to be a natural eye. It looks more like a robotic eye. That kind of grips onto the side of her head. She has a massive scar that goes back along her green forehead. And kind of almost cuts down the side of her head here. It looks like her left arm is completely metallic. Made of cast... It looks gold. As she comes out. She's wearing this elegant red, like deep maroon robe. That's kind of dragging on the floor as she walks. And you hear beside her these two large forms. Walk with these two massive uh, staffs. And they have purple energy on either side that kind of crackle. And I can show you a picture in Roll20 of what they look like. I'm gonna give you guys a handout of what these look like. Are these like Magna Guards or something? Ah, you got it, my friend. Show to players, show to everyone. They are Magna Guards. I've been, my wife and I have been rewatching Clone Wars. (laughs) Now, this is really strange, guys, because the Empire outlawed battle droids of any type. Mm-hmm. The fact that she has two? Hmm. And these still look like in pristine and these condition. Are no joke, too. Yes, they are no joke. <laughs> they look intimidating and fierce. They're also coming in behind you within the room. It looks like about six individuals. And it definitely have blasters hooked to their hips. And they just kind of spread out along the room, along the sides of this large chamber, as you guys are standing so now. Two Magna Guards and six assorted baddies. Six assorted baddies thugs. look like thug gangers. These look like they're a little bit better dressed than the Kree Hawks. They, these look like... They definitely are upscale from a Kree Hawk. They're they're the White Scar Syndicate, one hundred percent. They're not wearing like any logos sure. or any anything that indicates that they're like part of this gang, but you can tell. They're they wouldn't be allowed in like here sunglasses and tuxedos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that's it. <laughs> and, um, basically, she starts to speak through what sounds like a robotic voice. I can't do it very well because I don't have a voice changer, so I can't do her robotic voice. But just got a hold. Yeah, it's like, hold, hold a plate in front of your mouth. That's right. It's like, but she the uh, techno union. <laughs> so my associates say that you have something to speak with me about. This better be important. And worth my time. Normally, I don't make these sorts of arrangements. But I hear that you come wielding lightsabers. And that intrigues me. Yes, uh, thank you very much for being willing to meet with us. We are... uh... A group of information gatherers. Because as we all know, knowledge is power, yes? Uh, to I'm an extent. If you can t- what extent would that be? Until it doesn't lead to power anymore, and then you must lead to force. But I'm sure you would know Why? of this. Possible. <laughs> we are looking for information on this uh, very nefarious 
uh, person, this soldier war. Understand he caused quite a bit of trouble here. He did. What do you want with him? Well, we know that he is leaving information uh, wherever he goes, and information is our business. Sounds like he did some very terrible things here. We uh, want to uh, definitely find him and make sure he is uh, held responsible for what he has done. She points to herself. There was one day where I did not look like this. That man tried to kill me. And I think, I think he thought he did. I hate that man. I've seen you. I've never met him personally, but I promise if I ever am to meet him face to face, I can give him uh, your regards, as it were, however you would like. How about if you meet him, if you find him? Could you bring him to me? Alive? Yes. A little bit more difficult, but I think we can manage. I want to be the last person he sees before he dies. I want him to see what he has done. And I want him to suffer every bit for it. Promise you, he will know uh, in the end what he has done. Do you have any leads on this man? Did he leave behind any objects or any information we could uh, make use of it? If I had any solid leads, I would have rooted him out and killed him myself by now. But... You could visit the Sankar Palace in the Lower City. That is where the negotiations fell through. That is the last known location on this planet of Sujo Ward. There may be a clue there that could fill you in. Thank you very much uh, for your time and your patience this this day. We uh, we will leave now, and uh, we hope not to trouble you any further, and also potentially to bring you some justice. Listen, don't trust in that force of yours too much. I've seen firsthand what it can do. You should have seen how easily. It was for Suljo Ward to drive his lightsaber through his lightsaber-wielding friends. So he, he attacked the other Jedi? He did, but they tried to stop him from doing what they, he was doing to us. And he turned his sword against them and struck them down without hesitation.
The fear and the I'm anger saying, can consume you as well. Uh, I can't get angry sometimes. But uh, are you saying that he disrupted his own peace talks? The negotiations were an earnest part on our part. We saw, we saw this destruction that the war was bringing to Jora and all of Cato Naimoidia. We knew that all this damage was prolonging, so we organized these peace talks, a ceasefire with the Republic. This planet is home to us, to many of us. Why would we want to see it turn to rubble? This is where all of our crucial investments are. Our factories, our offices, they are all here. We have nothing, we had nothing to gain at all from destroying our own home world. We had only started talking. The negotiations had just begun. Something seemed off. Ward stared at us, solemnly, speaking little. Suddenly, he leapt across the table, igniting his green-bladed lightsaber. He cut down the others. Nyat, Heldry, Morm, and me. The others died instantly, I think. I stayed conscious, suffering, for several minutes. At that point, the other two Jedi ignited their lightsabers and took arms against Ward. And in my last conscience moment, I saw the other two Jedi fall. Ward did not come away from the battle unscathed. One of the Jedi did make a hit upon his midsection. He was injured upon leaving. But that is the last I remember. The rest of my life has been one lived based on pure hate of that man and what he did that day. And this is what I've become. Could we ask one more favor? What uh, is it? Could you give us a comm links in order to get contact with you, should we find him? Coming, if we were to leave planet and come back, there's no guarantee coming back in is going to be as easy as we first arrived. We may need your help to bring him to you. I cannot give you my personal comm link, but I can give you one of my associates, Silas. That you can work. communicate through him. Gotta get those digits. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta write down that random name generator. <laughs> she looks at you all and you says all, uh... she says if you are headed to the palace you should not delay the whole city is in an uproar just about the yeah, whole city curious. knows of what you have done over the last few hours. Yeah, unlimited time then. Thanks very yeah, much. Yes, for this. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are escorted out by some of those uh, other uh, gang members as Daddy. they, yeah, <laughs> as they take you down the elevator. Take you to uh, one of the valets, brings your land speeder up to the uh, the parking area, and you guys enter. Check the, the mileage. <laughs> they were out joy riding for about thirty minutes. I was more <laughs> concerned about scratches than than the mileage. There you go. <laughs> yeah. 
it looks like it's just been uh, well taken care of and you guys are heading back to the phoenix where you arrive to find a much better looking tizo uh, as it looks like he's been patched up by dr dran and some of the other individuals on board the ship hey looking good feeling a lot better thanks to the doctor i don't know how it worked <laughs> i mean i was just fumbling around but you know the doctor i just don't I wouldn't say that from now on. Just, just <laughs> no. you know. Perhaps that yeah, is the wise. Talked, wise we talked to the crime boss lady, and she uh, told us that. Uh, and I blah 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 blah. I, mm-hmm. I download whatever we learned today. Okay. Mm. You explain that. You all might notice that Tizo's fists are clutched, and they're actually like turning white from how tight he's holding his fists. Hearing about him uh, killing the other Jedi's. Sounds like either this uh, Holocron of Soldier was made before, or he he is leaving out some major parts. Okay, so maybe we need to have another talk with him before we go and look for the more information. We don't have much time. Where, do where do we, we have to go? go? How far is it from the spaceport? Yeah. So we, it's like it's 20 minutes to Ritzy part of town, 20 minutes back. Yeah. You it's said probably... we only have a couple of hours, so that's most of an hour gone. Yeah, so you guys got probably about between like an hour, an hour and a half. You think, like this is just an estimation. Um based on what you guys have been hearing and it's hard to, it's hard to say like you don't know what resources are available to the duke and how quickly he can get his hands on things you know the city's still pretty much chaos and you guys as you're like driving through you're being really cautious uh to find dark alleys to go down that aren't filled with stormtroopers looking for prisoners um it's still pretty pretty chaotic through the streets but it probably would take oh. you, you think, this palace that you you guys hear about, um, some of the Nymoidians on the ship can tell you it's the it's the largest remaining palace that's on, on the lower city, and it's located towards the center of the actual city. Is so, there usually anyone in there? Is it abandoned? Um, from what they, from what they know, everywhere under the under city is abandoned. If, if someone's living there, they're not legally supposed to be. Mm-hmm. As, yeah. far as, as far as the Empire is concerned, that part of the city is shut off. You're not allowed to go there. How far is it? Conference, just uh, the four of us in the cockpit. Yeah. Right. Okay. How far is it, if we were to, like, leave now, how far, how long does it take to get there? You think, kind of navigate through the Undercity, or probably, in trying to be careful, it'd probably take you about 20 minutes. Okay. So, we're, we're alone now. Yeah. I think we're alone now. <laughs> like, we, we can isolate ourselves? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're, yeah. In the co- <laughs> we're in the pilot. All right. Uh, I don't trust this booby trapper on our ship alone. But we need to go quickly to this other location to look for clues and possibly the Kyber Crystal. Maybe we can have the doctor's friend keep an eye on him. We can trust her. Although I don't know how capable she is in combat if he uh Well, I don't mean... Start... He is a spindly old man. I, I mean more just keeping an eye on him. If he sets any traps, she tells us before we get back mm-hmm. on the ship. But he is older. I don't know if... As long as we just outfit her with a blaster pistol, I don't think uh, he's going to put up much of a fight. Right. For security reasons, we could ask our new friends here to hang in the brig until we get back. Do we have a brig? I don't think we have a brig, but I think it would also be suspicious if we said, hey, could you wait in this prison cell? 
true. Well, I mean, what's the... I, especially since most of them just got out of jail. You just broke them out of jail. I, I don't <laughs> have this convenient yeah. box with no door. I just, uh, Duran, yeah. if you think we can tr fully trust uh, this, uh, Kedra, Elia, individual, we can think that she is the best bet for us to leave in charge. Have I picked up any funny vibes from her, Michael? Um, not really. You just you have a feeling like she's. Uh oh, oh. Did we lose. Okay, there we go. Christy, uh, you get the vibe that. She was aiding the rebellion, but probably not as like just helping with like she's not like an agent. Yeah, she's not like mm -hmm. an agent. She's not trained. It's kind of like yeah, yeah. Kinda like if you go to some place, it's willing to give you a place to sleep without somebody knowing. Like you're you're kind of it's kind of like yeah. just just yeah. Some, just somebody who's aiding the rebellion. Like a something. safe house. Yeah, like a safe house person. Somebody who's like helping to sneak supplies or something sympathizer. for them. Yeah, the, sympathizer. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, so they probably don't have, like, a current, like, rebellion rank or anything like that. It's kind of just like, hey, this person is, is loyal, is, is aiding us kind of deal. Bring the trapper with us. I don't know if that's a good idea. You could no, make I'm little gonna... things and throw them at the... I think I that's just going to end up getting him killed. I know myself, but it's not good control if we bring him along. Like I said, I think we just... I... Even if she doesn't know how to use a blaster pistol, we just outfit her with one. I have one of these basic ones that we can give her. And we can just say, you don't even have to, don't pull the trigger if you don't want to. Just point it at him. I guarantee, and it seems like he will uh, back down. What other choice do we have? Uh, yeah. That's a good idea. So, uh, oh, we no, go I back out into the main area. Maybe the doctor has a bit of a talk with her, and uh, we get her prepared for us to leave. I will, I will put the blaster pistol on stun and hand it to uh, Dr. Duran to give to to uh, our friend. So. Okay. The Duran makes his way out to the main chamber where the Nymoidians are kind of just relaxing, sitting in chairs calmly, trying to get dried off from all the rainwater. I'm going to apply skin pack to myself while we're having this conversation. Okay. Is that your second one for the day or just the first? Second, second. one for the so day. So it'll be four wounds for the second. Oh, no. Second, first one for me, second one I've used because I used the oh, other gotcha. one on yesterday. First yet. one for you, then it'll be five wounds. Yeah. So each mm -hmm. one you use is one less for a day. Yeah. Okay, my, my new friends. Um, we have a few more errands to run, but then I think we should be ready to go pretty soon. Right. Why don't you wait here and relax, and we shall be back in a short time. They all kind of look at you and shake, nod their heads yes, and one of them says, like, you won't be too long, will you? No, Less than no. An hour. We, uh, we, we, sh we should probably be uh, no more than an hour, but uh, then we probably need to get going anyway. Okay, they seem to all be in agreement. You'll be safe here, and... Uh, maybe entertain yourselves in the common area uh you can see that zell has already started activating the uh holographic chess board over on the other side the having nice. the little aliens kind of pick each other up and body slam them in the, the middle uh -huh. uh, <laughs> keep busy <laughs> That's it. Very good. please please uh relax please do not make any uh changes to the ship or tinker with anything, just about, you know, company policy. Zell's like, what about minor enhancements? Uh, Wait Zell's for us to get be, back. Uh, agreed upon maybe in the future, but right now... Not without Raven's not, approval. Yeah. Not, yeah, not without our approval. Uh, right, okay. Ah! What enhancement did you have in mind? That damn Rancar. What, you, what, what was that? What what enhancement did you have in mind? Well, the first thing I was going to do was add my holographic image to this game. I think you can wait on that. <laughs> okay. We can discuss those uh, in the future. We are going to have a little bit of time together as we travel. 
<laughs> right now we need to find final candidate. We'll be right back. Kind of like a kid who's playing video games is not even really paying attention to. He's like, all right. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. <laughs> and I would pull Shadra aside and give her the talk that Tizo suggested about, you know, hey, you don't even have to shoot him. Just, you know, if, if there's any funny business. She's like, oh, thank goodness, because I probably wouldn't be able to, to be honest. But I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to make sure I, I'll keep a confident posture, and the. Uh, a stern voice. Thank you. Yeah, your your integrity is the most important skill here. Mm. Okay, don't uh, don't be too long. Okay. We won't. All right. How are you guys going about? We get back on the speeder. Get back on the speeder. On we go. The minute you guys come How out of the land speeder and the rain starts to hit the windshield, you see something flying towards you. It looks like somebody, a single individual on a jetpack. They're wielding weapons. A jetpack. And they're flying towards you. And that's where we're going to end today's episode of Star Wars what? Force and what? Destiny. A jet What? Jetpack, stay in your lane. <laughs> you got a jet yeah, the hell? <laughs>